It's happening oh, no. right now. <laughs> <How'd you laughs> happen? I <laughs> well, I I told everyone that we were streaming, and then I, and then I hit the button so that we would start streaming. Oh my God, because I'm not a liar. <laughs> um, but vampire, vampire. <laughs> Uh, I'm excited to actually replay it now that I understand it more. Yeah. Do we want to... No, because I still want to do the combat and stuff, as weird as it was. <laughs> Definitely don't want to do it in hard mode, because they did have, like, a bit God, of a no. lot of time. Yeah. And if that was higher, it would be... It would be too much. <laughs> An ordeal, um... Four nails piercing the flesh of the sinner. Yeah. One prayer for the summoned called by this song. Sorry, um, mode, like... Borderline. <laughs> borderline there. The combat's a bit wibbly wobbly. Yeah. Oh my god, Farley, can you stop? By the eerie and unknown. Of course, it's right now. Right now, as we're getting like ready to do all this, that Farley is suddenly like, "Hey, you have to pay attention to me. Stop doing what you're doing and and spend time with me." And it's like Farley, I spent two hours awake in bed with you this morning, just cuddling. Crushed under. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I like woke up. I planned on like starting like my meal prep stuff like early today, and then and then he was like mm, no, and just like plopped himself on top of me, and I was like, well, I guess I'm here now. Go. Oh. <laughs> we got Jonathan over here being so dramatic about everything. What is a man? <laughs> what a miserable little pile of secrets. <laughs> yeah. Do you think... I mean, in this case, it, it, it lends towards just being dramatic pre-vampirism. But do you think when you become a vampire, you tend to become more... more prone to prose? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I think that's when part you of the curse. A vampire, you start just thinking you're cooler than everyone else, and you're, more, <laughs> you're like, you become one of those. Oh, classical music's the only real music. <laughs> these kids these days, it's just nice. Oh, They're all geez. old, right? So yeah, so it would be like that anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Jonathan, don't act like you've never seen a dead body before. You were a doctor, bud. <laughs> You're a Victorian doctor. <laughs> right? <laughs> this is normal. This is just what clinics looked like. <laughs> Job is just to chop off whatever part has got a funny color. <laughs> Chop that off and then offer people heroin for the ghosts in their blood. Yeah. Look, I could be a Victorian doctor. <laughs> um, I am playing with the controller this time. We'll see if that helps at all. Yeah, it did seem like it were it were built for controller. Yeah. But I want but Mouse keyboard. Keep suspecting that. Hey, this this might this might not have really <laughs> gone how to make this work on a keyboard, huh? Yeah. And I would have like I would have swapped over, but we had gotten so far in. Yeah, you don't have like, to learn everything. Yeah. <laughs> so thirsty. Look, a juice box. Delicious juice, a Capri Sun. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am. <laughs> I love it when my juice boxes hug me. Yeah. I think she's saying, drink me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm delicious. I'm tasty. Yeah. Ha ha ha! 
<laughs> Did also forget how dramatic the choir was. But, you know, that's fine. Choirs are very dramatic. So dramatic. My god. Mary! Drink my juice box! No! no. Mary! Uh, uh, I... 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 Learned a valuable lesson hold about on. why you shouldn't Please, hug an on. injured vampire. <laughs> <laughs> With a neck full of delicious blood. You might take a little, a little bite. Just a little one. I'm sure she's fine. <sighs> She's just taking a nap. Doesn't she come back as a vampire? Yeah, I'm pretty <laughs> Isn't sure she a boss fight? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, she's fine. Don't even worry about it, Jonathan. Whoever comes to hook her is gonna have a, a real life. <laughs> just... <laughs> Infinite vampire hook. My god. I mean that's how it would go. Isn't it? <laughs> no! Wait a moment, let me explain! Listen, she's just sleeping. She was tired, she's taking a nap. Alright, let's go. After me. No, it's not. Don't shoot. I don't think they're this gonna listen nightmare. to you, buddy. What is this? What? What is this? Oh, it's a dodge. Okay. <laughs> Just a little hop. When you dance, Chris, that's sweeping the nation. <laughs> this can't be. It's the hops. I need to stop hitting that button, but it's very no, funny to me. Stop. I mean you no harm. You're a, you're an expert of vampires, right? You know about Am I? ghouls and. Uh, <laughs> Creepy oh, uh, creepers, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Glowing ghoul, <laughs> ghoul three. Uh, you know all of them. No, yeah, this. definitely. Does silver bullets work on vampire or just werewolf? I don't or think. Or does it like work Stay good back. on werewolf and a little bit on vampire? I think it works a little bit on vampire, but I don't. I don't think. Traditionally speaking, silver is a a great weapon against vampires. Okay. Who are you? Silver Stupid is beast. for werewolves. Yeah. <laughs> it's what we think here. Sorry. Yeah. I don't know why I'm looking around as if there are things here. There are no things here. This is this is a tutorial. <laughs> Well, they'd never give you things here. Kill, please stop. With that giant shovel. I would like to bonk a man with that shovel. Who are you? What do you want? Okay, it is a little easier to spam attacks in this. The dodge still takes a million years to yeah. like activate, but at least it's Thanks. consistent in its in its lack of response. I, no I, I need help. Die, you fucking leech. I remember the please. Iframes on it weren't great either, but like no. the tanks the start please. and end for like yeah. <laughs> so. What in God's sake? I'll do the rest of the job. Just, just. Aww. Poor Jonathan. He's got a sunburn. <laughs> Is this what happens when any British person walks in the sun? It's just because yeah. he's so pale. It's not because I, I he's a vampire. Know because I've never it's seen the sun like that. <laughs> Why is that? I need to find somewhere to hide. It's locked. Oh, the door's locked. Let me um, go. I do wish the buttons would tell me what they are for the PlayStation, but it's fine. I'll I'll it figure it out. <laughs> if you're gonna be a, a vampire, by the way, Victorian London's probably the place to be a vampire. 
Oh, a hundred percent, right? Weird little <laughs> horrible houses so close together that the Is sun never there? actually makes it down to the street. <laughs> Everyone's already dying over everything anyway. Yeah. Who's gonna know? This <laughs> seems. I do love the idea of like a, a doctor being a vampire, and just just doing a little nibble here and there. No one would notice. Just very fine and normal. Bloodletting was a common practice. I know he does kind of want you to do like uh, a no person kills good guy doctor only run. What have you done? But I do but like that consider. the <laughs> normal balance seems to be more like Mary. how do I eat just Mary. not enough people I'm that sorry. everyone dies? How do I eat one <laughs> less people? <laughs> would kill everybody. <laughs> right? I, uh, now that I understand the the game's consequence system a little better, um, in that if you, if you fuck up, you fucked up, my dude! <laughs> yeah. Um, it will be a little more interesting to, like, balance that out a bit more. Um... Oh, because like the first time that I was trying to go through it, I wanted to just I wanted to just be a nice person and not just like to people, but to everyone. Okay, like yeah, a couple of people, but they were assholes. They were horrible. It was like a landlord and then some like pimp or something. Like another guy who kept doing rhymes or something. Maybe just insufferable and needed to go. <laughs> Maybe there was definitely a landlord in there, though. Absolutely, I remember the landlord. <laughs> you, you met him. Uh, he was he, immediately you were like, "I'm gonna eat this person," and then they were rude to you. <laughs> it just solidified it even more. Yeah. Did we eat the poet? I thought we did. I do vaguely remember him now. That's impossible. I'd believe it. <laughs> he was insufferable. <laughs> um but yeah, we can be a little more uh we can we can do a bite a little more often. That's fine. I I'll think see what the situation calls for. Yeah. It's an interesting system, but it, you really can't afford to, like, make the wrong choice. No! <laughs> like, in gameplay terms, you can't afford to make the wrong choice, which is really oh. rude. Yeah. <laughs> like, unbelievably rude. Yeah. <laughs> Who goes there? If, like, like... Like, I don't necessarily mind the, like, severe consequences, but I need there to be a little more build-up to it, other than... Well, he didn't eat the man who seemed like he could really go either way with a little no. bit of a little bit of time yeah, to you slept instantly. and I yeah, took a nap and everyone died. <laughs> the entire yeah, district started, like, was picking horrible. people off, and you could have stopped him. That'd have so been fine. Um, yeah, anything that doesn't like plunge the area into anarchy with enemies that are far too level to yeah. deal with. <laughs> I don't want to get soft <laughs> Yeah. Especially since the game, like, is constantly auto-saving itself. Like, if I could go back, cool, fine, but I, I couldn't. <laughs> I just had to deal with it. But again, we know now. Jonathan, this isn't gonna. Johnny, this one's lost. We need to leave. And now, no. there's time. I can save him. That's the enemy no. coming. No. <laughs> evacuate the hospital. <sighs> Done. He'll live. And now what? We fight. Killing is a hell of a. Go away, Farley. Eat. Oh my God. Leave. <laughs> Leave! Sound <laughs> cash no. later. Oh, I, can't go <laughs> I can't. I can't be his perch all of the time. 
used Does revolver. It? Secondhand revolver. <laughs> Sorry. It's fine. Okay, is that everything that's around here? just hitting buttons at this point to see what everything does and I can't do anything in here so uh I guess it's it's sleep time this makes yeah no napping sense. just across no. from the party yeah no sense at all. And my zomboid experience tells me that that's not a good idea <laughs> <laughs> that's it I just gonna... fell and try and come out oh. Yeah, don't make you not feel too good. That Seems pillow you is only so feel bad sad. for like eight seconds and then you explode. Yeah, well, we'd been around a couple of those bodies for a long time, hadn't we? We had the one in the house that I kept, I kept refusing to get rid of. Yeah. <laughs> he was our friend. Can I just not? It's not gonna <laughs> work, bud. Can we just not? Oh, this noise Still is horrible. I guess that's how it tries to make you do it. So, so I don't hang on this animation forever. Alright, well... <laughs> it wasn't giving me any, any other option. Hi, Akos. How's it going, friend? <laughs> Vampire. Vampire. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna skin this cat. Get out of here. No, <laughs> be gone. Horrible creature. <sighs> You're locked in here with me, Devo. Sorry, he's being so annoying. I'm glad it's going all right. We're we're okay. <laughs> Very tired. Dang. This is absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real. Sir, can you speak like a normal human being? <laughs> Let's do an eat. E. I unlock anything else? Claws? Blood spear? Shadow mist? Blood spear were really good, right? I can't remember. I also can't remember. We had a thing that shot, and it was really good. I think it was Blood Spear, and I vaguely remember Shadow Mist not living up to the hype. Horrible. Like, I was really excited about it, and then I think it was ass. Let's go Blood Spear. The British are not human, sorry. <laughs> Dang! I mean... Hold on. Is there anything else? I think that's all we can do. That's fine. That's fine. I did forget Dr. Boyfriend was in this game, and then Fruity reminded me, and I got very excited Voice about it. I'm gonna see Dr. Boyfriend. I'm so I'm excited about Dr. Boyfriend. I must belong to the one who made me what I am. Who's I must banging? find him to understand what I have become. Who's banging? Who bang? Where is it? Someone's uh, warm. Who warm? People want me dead. I need to leave now. Why warm? Why warm? Here's the leech. Here. Oh, yeah, I get to do the weird, <laughs> the weird okay. teleport move. That's not actually a teleport because they can hit you while you are missed. Yeah, I remember that. It's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot enter. Ooh. Oh, 
Uh, give me. Run away and lock the door. <laughs> classic. Clever girl. Oh, this trick in the book. I'm still in Southwark. I must. We need to take our shirt off. Oh. <laughs> well. That's fine. A strength I never knew I had. Right. We got the the big stun. Yeah. The big stunner. Also known as a wooden stick. <laughs> <laughs> Very non-lethal wooden stick. That you stick people in the head to, to make them dizzy so you can fight them. Did you not hear that, bud? <laughs> that was very good. Oh, okay, I guess we're attacking this man. Please, please don't do the fire thing on me. Sirs. Every fiber of my being is a fire. Very. Very dramatic. So dramatic. Oh right, I can do. What are what is happening here? There we go. The limits of my body. Okay, okay, Jonathan. If we can uh cut the hello? Big man. Yeah, but he's no no can't stand up to my my big blood. Which I can't use because I'm out of blood. Huh. <laughs> uh, dense cottage cheese blood. Oh no! <laughs> Fuck! Everything, everything's coming back. I'm remembering it all. I kind of love that big lad with a fucking touch gun with like a. <laughs> He's fine when it's just him. I remember them like throwing me in a room with like three or four of those guys, and it's like, hey, game, <laughs> I am a baby. Yeah, and then then it's a problem because they yeah. don't they don't get stunned when you hit them. They large. Unless you hit them with the incredibly slow wooden stick move. <laughs> this one, this incredibly slow wooden stick move <laughs> that takes ten million years to wind up. This one. Yeah, it takes about as long as it takes them to reload the shotgun. So right. you know, it's a little little bit of a problem. <laughs> Can I? Hold on. I can go from the dodge to the stake move pretty quick. Like, I don't have to finish the dodge animation. Ah, that's cool. Unlike the normal attacks where I have to finish the dodge My animation course. before I can attack. So if that's good to know. That is weird, but we can use that. Right. <laughs> Someone will pay for what happened to We understand you. now. For Door's locked. I wonder if it's the same for all the offhand weapons, because they're oh. all reading rats over here. I didn't mean to, I was trying to loot this man! You just saw a little juice box on the floor and you can help yourself. Delicious, I had to grip it and rip it. <laughs> just gripping and ripping a little rat. <laughs> the dizziness from the jump. I can now control it. Bruh, I, I've been able to control it. It's okay. I cannot enter. Just press A, my guy. It's fine. <laughs> I get it. We're trying to establish that Jonathan is learning with us, but it's not... It's not necessary. It's okay. We understand. Let's go. Bimbies. Come on, here. Yeah, I do remember that the soundtrack was like real oh, neat. <laughs> I really remember the soundtrack. It's very nice. I'm enjoying it right now. It's locked. Yeah. I have so many questions unanswered. <laughs> Jonathan is just very uncomfortable with any amount of silence, isn't he? <laughs> just has to has to say something constantly. Maybe he doesn't know he's talking out loud. He thinks that's his Instagram <laughs> model. <laughs> also, speaking of grip and rips. 
rip it and rip it. I don't know if Discord picked it up, but mostly you know. it. I had to like the mm. the initial, and then that were it. Mm. It was an okay one. It wasn't the greatest. The man has been drained of all blood, but I can still smell. The I mean, of it. that's because there's a lot of it around. <laughs> Hey, if we just looked. Trail. Perhaps it will lead me to my assailant. We need a new shirt. I I keep saying it, and I'm gonna keep saying it. We need a new shirt. Learn the lesson. Don't fucking shoot yourself when you're a vampire. It just makes a mess of your shirt. <laughs> Someone's gotta clean that up. It's just you just real made a rude. mess, and it's horrible, and. And how could you do this? Also, people are gonna look at us funny. Look at him! He's a disaster! You got right on you. <laughs> Blood. It's up that way, but what's over here? Ooh, Thank one luck. Yeah! I can't. No, no it's locked. locked. <laughs> to say it's kind of giving me free reign, and that's an absolute lie. It has away. not. We do not get to do anything ever. I mean, we're still in like the tutorial Where bit, right? Yeah. <sighs> According to the blood patterns, that's where the victim was attacked. So that where the killer's trail. Uh oh. Okay. Well, the horrible lights are still horrible. Good to know. <laughs> Don't have anything in there. Right. There's weird crafting. Yeah, we can we make have to care everyone of all the, the the ailments of their sepsis and anemia and fatigue. As well as everything else. Oh, we have uh, cures for migraines and headaches and colds and bronchitis and pneumonia. Why is Ooh. sepsis on the same tier as fatigue? Everyone had sepsis. That was just a thing. <sighs> I guess. Don't get sepsis. It's bad. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> you just take some medicine. You're fine instantly. Uh... <laughs> Uh... <laughs> you just drink your medicine. Well, also, I need to remember to not sleep regularly. Because <laughs> that's how days pass. And that's oh, yeah, how and things get bad. Yeah. So we'll just... Last, a little life. Doesn't give a oh, shit God that you are absolutely coded. Okay, okay now he does. Just spat you out of hell. <laughs> no, thank you. I mean, I'm he cares in in as much well, as he can chair, sell us a thing. This is gonna be another long night. <laughs> so uh, coming and like, this man must need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's Why do all of the other not ones not aside from the exclamation point because that'll progress everything. Tell me more about these murders. Every morning for the also, the fact that he knows there are murders going on, and I have a murder's worth of blood on me. <laughs> yeah. The police have any Just unfazed. Before, Does not care. Coppers never came around here. <gasps> Hi, Arcade. Die in these okay. Yeah. All the time. Talking about and the moitas. All the dang moitas. How's it going, friend? How are you doing? Where is this place? You're at my bar, sir, the turquoise turtle. The last ray of light in this dangerous part of town. Aren't you scared? Scared of what? All the bad shit happens out on the foggy streets. <laughs> and I never go outside. But what if it happens in yeah. here? Sorry. Let's step inside. <laughs> play video Open games for hours. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I mean, might need a mood. <laughs> Why do anything I'm when I can stay inside? Who passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. Been quiet tonight. Any other person I've seen went straight up to his room. 
<laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. Um, How long has he been here? He as much as I don't necessarily want to go through like all of the leave. dialogue for a lot Who of this, because we have heard it before, he we need to because we get information. Well and yeah, like I don't remember all of it. Fancy like that, always writing, reading notes. It's it's Doctor Boyfriend. <gasps> I need to meet. This I think. Man. I vaguely Spider remember it being Doctor Boyfriend. Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. Because we, we think it's so we think it's the murderer. And, uh, but yes, then there's no funny business. but then it's Doctor Boyfriend because he's talking to the lady. We're not gonna murder Doctor Boyfriend. Come on. God, never. Doctor Boyfriend is perfect. I wondered if I could ask for your help. Wow. Sorry, his you shirt. Yes. <laughs> Sir? I apologize for my outfit. It's been... It's been a long night. Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. Oh, great! Has anybody Perfect. entered the bar recently? <laughs> I say, sorry. I spent the night making love to that gorgeous bottle. See? This is That's between you and the bottle, sir. Are you sure no one has Gross. come in here? In <laughs> I don't know and I don't care. This is a free country. People still have the right to come and go, don't they? What's going on around here? Okay. It's like everybody is hiding. You must be new here. Have you not heard about the murders? Everybody fears the return of the sewer dog. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's I why remember. they... Okay. <laughs> that... That's why nobody's freaking out about us being on... Convenient answer for every crime or maybe not? You murdered someone. Blamed a sewer dog, eh? You a sewer dog's an actual like werewolf bird. that lives in the sewer, all right? Yeah. 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 Her bus fight yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it was horrible. <laughs> uh, we're going to be to doing all the, all the right moves this time. It's going to be easy. <laughs> Hello, sir. Are you all right? Is there any way I can help you? I don't know. We're fine. Maybe you, you look like you need a drink. Maybe you speak with Tom then. He looks like he's he needs a shower. Talking to strangers. He looks like he needs a shower. <laughs> What's going on around here? This Where is poor it? dirty man. <laughs> man is a right off. Just throw him in the trash <laughs> and get a new one. <laughs> it's a whole new man. The murders. Sorry, I'm just very like. Bodies found in the streets every morning. So so filthy. It's just horrible. Because I like being able to just move my Some camera during all this. The sewer dog is back. The sewer dog. Very funny to me. What's that? No one knows. That was very awkward, like Mass Effect style conversation. So the two people just stand motionless and stare at each other. <laughs> until it's their turn. <laughs> what have you heard about the epidemic? There's a Spanish flu. I do remember the writing being quite yeah. good though. Killed mm -hmm. somebody last summer. Thought we'd seen the last of it. Dozens dying every week. It makes the staring a little more tolerable. <laughs> there are so many quarantine zones yeah. in London now. It's gotten really hard to travel across town. It's like at least whoever is talking, they have like there is some expression is going place? on in their this is face. Yes. Whoever's term. talking like wiggles oh, around a bit, and then whoever's not talking is nice. just stood still just staring at them. Are you <laughs> this is how I have conversations with people. <laughs> Yeah, you just take it in turns. the people may need a safe place to stay. You don't seem to have much business. Where is everybody? Well, most did, people did we walk like those them. blood footprints? So. Those that are away tend to no, those were there before we, we got here. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> um, it's, you know what? It's true, though. Talk. I didn't mean to scare you. I have to wiggle so much when I speak. I only see one customer. Oh. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, I best check on them. <laughs> I'll leave then. Thank you. Okay. Well. Is this a? a I cannot enter. When you left, you you'd bones turn a jelly. Uh, situation <laughs> when I speak I must wiggle to make noise happen. yeah sounds about right why am I allowed back here 
Why is no one yelling at me for coming back here? Take an apple. <laughs> Crunch. Oh, I don't think vampires can eat apples, can they? No, it makes them uh, sick, I think. It does in uh, what we do in the shadows, and I take everything that happens in that as canon. <laughs> That's because it is canon? Here's the thing about what we do in the shadows. It is, I mean, it's it's by vampires. They're telling you about it. Yeah. Oh, it's tell-all vampire documentary. Yeah. You know now that if you drink the blood of someone who's on drugs, you become a witch. <laughs> you might as well come in. What a good show. What a good movie. Yeah. Slowly, vampire. All of the very good. I am your boyfriend. Say it's a vampire. I. I need a word. With anyone. <laughs> well, that's something I can do for you. Edgar? <laughs> Is that his name? I mean, it's Doctor Boyfriend, Dr. obviously. Name Ed. Maybe. Doctor Boyfriend, I don't remember your name aside from Doctor Boyfriend, and I feel a little rude about that. Or is it just Doctor Boyfriend, and MD? Who might you be? <laughs> Uh, but also, Edgar! I did remember. Edgar this is my Swansea. boy. His blood quality is impeccable. He has such good blood, but we're never going to eat that blood because never, he's, he's never our boyfriend, nibble. Doctor. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Doctor Boyfriend does like to blind us with his nightlight. Listen, we did just sort of like, we didn't quite burst in, but tell me. You know, we were a bit rude you? about showing up. First, tell me what you want. Then I may tell you. Okay. That's none of your concern. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. Something someone is molesting people. In fact, killing them. Biting them. The calling card of a vampire. Just a little chomp. Like you. Yeah. So I'll say. Um. You seem the expert. How would that be? I have. I think it. It can. It can be. Then if you are not. But what if they're biting them to death? You. What then? Doctor Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of Saint Paul. I'm performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. Uh, what have you uncovered I'll do all the big, big the questions. It started a few nights ago. Rumors of violent murders. The docks have always been, shall we say, somewhat unsavory. <laughs> don't remove the teeth of a vampire. They don't go back in. A vampire is at work here. Famished, they reckless. Don't go back in. It must be brought to ground and quickly. They'll go back in. I need the second I season of our flag means death like woman. immediately. Who are you yeah, please. <laughs> they haven't spent no so fucking long about. not renewing it. Something. Yeah. Tells me trust you. Which, like, how could then you not? How could you not renew it? It's the perfect. Will catch the gay. From Less the gay pirate show. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, if the neighbor... <laughs> we'll discuss it another time. <laughs> was pretty... That was stupid of me. I was like, and I want to be cold. gay, and then <laughs> I remembered. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have good news. Me, <laughs> oh, hey, we're try. already there. The scent of blood. <laughs> the it led me here. The version should have those chewy stem necklaces, like the little teething toys for babies. The same <laughs> They'd never, they would never do anything ever again. I didn't listen to what he was saying. Uh, you both, you 
both looking for the the you're looking for the guy who bit him and he's looking for who's doing the murders and you think they're the, the same shadow, person. Indeed. Okay, yes, thank you. Sorry, I was thinking about st <laughs> chewing stim toys for vampires. <laughs> you should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up to. <laughs> no. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? Uh I, I don't know. Play it by ear. Demand answers and then and then end him? Where's the both option? All of the above. <laughs> I don't know, so I'll demand answers and then end him. <laughs> I, I don't know yet. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. Dr. Boyfriend? No, Dr. Boyfriend! Would you be so kind as to leave the room? I guess... Only after I loot it. I'll take you... your shillings and then leave. Is there anything else? Blood! We'll, we'll, go, we'll go down this way. Bye! Bye! Love you! If Swansea is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Someone must know something. <laughs> what is yes, everyone sir? talking about down Can here? I, I have a few questions for you. <sighs> well, if you must. Uh, I want I the spoke truth. To Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. It's Will. To be fair, William Bishop. She has a reason to be scared. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of red on us. <laughs> if, we, if we tell them that, it's, that we just had a jam incident, do you think they would listen? It's our hand, it's just calling it. <laughs> God, I hope it's not contagious. What happened tonight? He, he was dead drunk as usual. But my God, it, it, his eyes, his face. He must have caught something awful. He shouted and, and cried. It was terrible. Was it though? Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the cannon factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke. I thought she said cannon factory for a second. And I was like, the what now? Why are you keeping a secret? <laughs> Why not tell me about it? Canning makes more sense. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, well... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. <gasps> I'm a coming, Tom. I know. I understand that I have. I understand that I have hints, and that this is where I can find my hints. Wait, who's sick? Wait, wait. Whoa! These menus are wild. Dyson Delaney has fatigue. Nice. Sir. So, you you have to. People get sick and you have to make cures for them. Mm -hmm. And you can be doing that because you're a good guy and want everything Welcome to back. be going well in the areas <laughs> and everyone to be yeah, doing yeah. doing a good job. Or you or just you want can, a tastier no snack. Your yeah, you can just want to make yeah, a blood test. But... <laughs> the other thing that um, makes blood tests better is if you get to know the person before you eat them. <laughs> which yeah, is also kind of cool. I do love like I love that that Tom, aspect of the game there where it does like your old friend William. Yes, Jesus Christ. Right tonight, um encourages you anymore. to do those like 
good things, even if you're you are being a little more nefarious about it. <laughs> if he is not your friend. I didn't lie. You have to learn why you shouldn't eat the person for it's a good idea to eat the person. Right. <laughs> who is he? William. That's the old sailor who loves his gin too much. He worked for years at the canning factory before it closed. Uh... Is he dangerous? Yeah. Like many drunks, he's all bark and no bite. Can barely stand up most of the time. How was he tonight? Was he different? Sicker than usual, perhaps. He whined and mumbled about how mean people were to him and how he'd like to talk to me outside, and then he left when I refused. Okay. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What do you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. William used to be strong. Now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? Okay. Do you have anything else to say? Hello, sir. I May don't I do you again? I don't you think he's a very helpful sin. individual. No. I'll leave you to your bottle, then. <laughs> <laughs> no, not in the slightest. Um, also, sorry, there, there, there's like some, not clipping textures, but things look a little funky. And I don't know if turning some things on or off will make it better. I think it might be anti-aliasing if that were off completely. I'm occupied presently. Sir, I just, I just wanted to talk to you so I could see how you look. May I disturb you? You're still ugly as sin. Wow, okay. I'll leave you to your bottle then. I think I think that's a little better. Uh, we'll see. Lights are still tripping, but you know, that's what they yeah. do. <laughs> that's just what they do. Tom is worth a lot of blood. Yeah. Got a lot of blood in him, that boy. Mm. Big juice. <laughs> we get blood for fighting like regular enemies and stuff, but it's not even like it's... comparable to the amount we get you'd get for eating a person. Minuscule. Yeah. Okay, I am going the right way. Good. Perfect. I will keep sizing everyone up, but I, I I don't plan on eating at least like the big players unless they're particularly mean to us. In which case, the body is still warm. fair game. This man has just been drained of blood. Be nice to the vampire, or he will eat you. It's <laughs> good advice. Tried to defend himself. <laughs> Pick What's up this? the note. Some sort of note. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. Still has blood on him, though. Blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. Move on. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. Splats. Because splatter is is too hard to say. Blood splat. Splat. <laughs> okay, that's where they want me to go. I cannot. And that enter. is locked. Always locked. Blood splooches. I jump. <laughs> Anyone else? No? Okay. Good. Ammunition Great. Crate. Good. <laughs> I may need a lot of bullets. I feel like I'm back on the front line again. Just don't shoot yourself again. Your shirt's already ruined. Right? Okay. 
Got a couple of dudes out there. Oh. There's a man there. How useful are guns in this? Uh, being too useful, but I think that is like surprising a surprisingly high damage, I like if you played Bloodborne, but just like less everything else. I think they were fine. I think they were better for stunning in okay. most cases. Sir, how did you how did you not know that I was here? You fool. Um, I think it depends. Right? I think it depended on what kind of gun you had and what enemies you were okay. up against. Because I don't remember them doing much. Jonathan, what? <laughs> Just a little mid air wibble. No, I, I've, I've done this already. I know. I understand. And they all have resistances. Um... <laughs> You're just sneaking around, you stood on a crit and it disintegrated. Yeah. Are they gonna spot you when you come out? No, you yeah. can do that. That's rude. I like that. Ow! I got another law question. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is there any point like shooting a vampire or like stabbing them with with not like a wooden stick, or is that I, just gonna make them angrier? I <laughs> and think want blood more? it depends on the lore, but also it depends on how big a gun you got. Cause I feel yeah, like if you if you hit a vampire with a shotgun. If you did a shoot with a shotgun on a vampire, it might not stop him, but it will slow him down temporarily. Um, okay, you, you shoot his head <laughs> up, it takes a minute to grow back, and you can just run away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Aww. Aww, I thought I could be sneaky, sir. The opportunity attacks are like not good for damage. It's just you get the the blood meter. Yeah. Without having to ever use the, the stick. Which I do need more blood. Is the thing. No, come here. Ooh, I got in like that. <laughs> oh. Build up our blood meter quite a bit though. Like, over halfway, which is exciting. Killed you a little bit as well. I, I thought you needed a skill for that? I think... I think I healed because I was out of combat? Oh, okay. Yeah, because you, like, lose max health when you get hit. Yeah. Like, when you get hit by, like, fire or anything vampires don't like. Yeah. And then you need to, like, actually use healing moves to recover that. Just do a little chomp. Couple little slicey dices. Combat is still super funky, but yeah, it's, it's a little it's better. A, the, the biggest problem Vampire has going for it is he's always going to be compared to Bloodborne. Yeah. <laughs> and it will never be a favorable comparison. Yeah. Think about it. So hold on, I have to let Farley back in because he's now sitting outside the door and crying. Farley. Are you gonna behave? No. I'm never gonna behave. Are you gonna be a good boy? Not even once. He's so naughty. No, that's not an invitation to come bother me. You need to go. Go. I'll open the door so you stop crying, but you have to leave me alone. <laughs> I 
I promise. I do. I do hang out with my cats. <laughs> I take care of them and I play with them. He's just very needy all of the time. Horrible creature whom I love. It's locked. Well, here's the thing. I don't want to eat the rats if I don't have to. There's a hideout up there, though. Oh, yeah. Nice. Thanks, rats. <laughs> uh, sir? Thanks for the it's common handle like parts they... and the lead plates. <laughs> you take a nap right there. <laughs> Sometimes you get real tired and you just need to just need to stop immediately. I get that. I respect that. I don't want to do a sleep yet. Do we craft like weapons in this? Because we're getting a lot of like metal crud. I think you can oh, like upgrade. upgrade. Right. Yeah. Speaking of, can I? I'd like to do the upgrade, please. Stamina consumption, more damage, more damage, I think. Oh, we gotta get some al- oh, <laughs> I thought we had to get aluminium. We had al- we had aluminium. Aluminium. <laughs> Aluminum. I prefer aluminium. Uh, cause it's how we say it here, but also because it's just got- It's just, just so it's much. It's got all the syllables, it goes up <laughs> and down and up again, it's crazy. It's good <laughs> Aluminium. It's very silly. Where? There. Well look, I can't- can't let him go, right? No witnesses. Man has never seen anything in his entire life. <laughs> oh. That hits real hard now. Ah, oh, I like it. There's not really stealth systems in this and like, oh. uh, <laughs> I think there might be in the fire game, but not, not here. No. Fresh blood. Ooh. The whole building the, the, of it have zero so awareness of what's dizzy. going on around them or it's a designated combat area so they spot you instantly and there's nothing you can do to avoid that yo <sighs> sorry i was talking over the man though no it's fine they weren't they're not saying anything important used sight does that mean we can't hold the stick i think so yeah it's not really I mean, worth it. <laughs> it uses up way more stamina. The attack really speed's pretty slow. good. Oh, is it? Oh, it's five. Well, five is a lower number, so I assumed that meant slower. I assume bigger number was worse. Hmm. <laughs> Could be either way. I'm not. I don't know. I don't know nothing. I also you can parry don't. with it. Could, but who parries in any game? Ever. Travis? I cannot enter. Well, the, okay, but Travis is typically wrong about most things. This place weeks of bloodshed. Is the thing. Whose skeleton is this? Dearest friend, you're my last and dearest friend. Sculpton. It's upside down. Yeah. This creature is bedeviled. It. I must put it down. <laughs> you go. That was very funny. Real mad. Oh, sir, I was dodging. I was in the middle of dodging. It's fine. We got a used bludgeon. Great! A used Wonderful. club. 
Why is he all spiky? I guess. Oh, it's the priest. Can I kill him now? Ah. <laughs> it's this fucking guy. I gotta save him, Mr. Hampton. Oh yeah. Are you in there? Well, yeah, this is a problem, lost. man. A kindred Sir, listen to the sound of my this voice. This is the man who I'm, ruined everything for me the last time. You're suffering from shock. I must return to my flock. They stray without me. <sighs> Sir, they will stray with you. <laughs> Remember, certain scowls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are Lady. you? Lady. What do you mean by scowl? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized. Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you like me? Can you help me? I believe so. I already have. I remember not liking her that much. Yeah. Oh, do we have to second up? Like George and the Saints. Right. <laughs> right now. Terrible murders. <gasps> oh, we can't do it in front of Doctor Boyfriend. Yeah, he'll be upset about that, and I don't want to upset him. Just give me a moment to secure Look at his silly little boat. <laughs> Why is your steering wheel there? He was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the horse. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see. He gets to the nearest hospital. Sir, I think you're I think you're confusing blood with alcohol. Go with a good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful and I'm sure he'll take He is a man of God though. He understands blood to wine. you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. So much blood. This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. I like how we are ignoring the fact that the woman called him a skull as to, you know, imply that he is something different than a vampire. And Jonathan's like, hmm, what if he's not a vampire? Well, he could just be like a weird vampire slur. We don't want to... <laughs> if I want to say anything, we might get cancelled on Twitter for later. <laughs> I'm stepping on those crits and just disintegrating them. Just <laughs> I'm glad because I will be stepping on all of them from here on out. Look, I can also pass over them and they explode. That's pretty cool. Just like Bloodborne. Just like darks. Oh, that's a metal barrel. That one doesn't work as well. Understood. I, I know you, you didn't get on with control, but control has the most destructive dodge of any video game. <laughs> it is, it is dash through people's desks and all the papers scatter everywhere and the desk just disintegrates. I did like how reactive the environment <laughs> yeah. was in it. I wish I liked control. It's, it's one of those, like, it's not a bad game. It's just not for me. <laughs> yeah. Which sucks, because I like I like the idea, I like the premise, Where it looks headed? great, but it... Yeah, in it, and we love it. Eh? The yeah! <laughs> but I wasn't. I was not well, what, good at it, and I was not having I fun not being good at it. <laughs> Who can say? Yeah. The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What? Who is she? What woman? No, don't play me for a fool. Edgar. Strange to bear that stuff because I was so self conscious about how loud my console got when I was playing it. Oh! <laughs> if it helps, I don't think it was like distracting or anything. Well, London is peaceful as she appears. You should play it. You should play it some more. If you're up for it, that is. To be honest, I'm to avoid this part of Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Is that a Welcome hair tie to the front here? lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator no. of Pembroke Hospital. 
I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order. This is a problem. Oh, St. Paul stole. Yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. First yes, and foremost, you are my boyfriend. Doctor Reed. Yeah. How, how do you know who I am? No first and foremost, he's a doctor and a boyfriend. And a boyfriend. You are correct. I knew it. Sorry. It's just so eager. Let me give us a shirt. So... Yeah, he gives us a really nice, like, a whole ensemble. I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost. Sylvie. Hi, Sylvie. And what a turn of fate. How's it going, friend? Blood specialist returns to London a vampire. Word again from a so called man of science. We're not using the V word. The role of science is to refute myth, but when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. It's you, everyone's favorite bunny boy. Well, then let me be. Oh no! Is it back now? Was that before or after Sylvie and Nam and, and Nam and Sylvie and Sylvie and Nam? Employment to <laughs> contemplate your uh, predicament. Are we just sitting this here? This is sudden. I was returning home to see my what? sickly mother. I think our bot has got stuck. But alas, that was before. Yeah, um... Oh, jeez. It's fine. Dr. Reed. Probably. To consider Immediately after stream. <laughs> Well, it was nice of it to wait. <laughs> Heck. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. <gasps> Thank you. So, what do you say? I would like those clothes now, please. It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant. Oh, Jonathan, <laughs> this is one for the book. The beginning of a beautiful friendship. And now they're married. <laughs> I understand. I mean, Jonathan is about to take his socks off. So officially do they both have to take their socks off oh goodness i was beginning to be concerned worry no more nurse crane for i bring good news oh doctor what are you doing <laughs> nurse scout said she couldn't see. take it anymore and resigned yes well i'll make a new rotor in the morning in the meantime find a oh, good bed for mr hampton be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy. Yes, Doctor. Doctor. I remember Reed her being kind of a bitch. He served King and Country. Will be joining us here I at Pembroke. Jacket. We're very lucky. The hell of an outfit. <laughs> so experienced in blood. So sharp. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh yes. Big pads on it, so the. So, so our shoulders never get cold. Here at Pembroke, we've got what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship didn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Doctor Swansea. I was gonna say, do we need to help her? Just like. Come in, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. <laughs> That's Doctor Boyfriend, and we love him. He's perfect. It's locked, all right. Is he, is he I'm good? I'm sorry, Jonathan. Mr. Hampton needs me right now. He is staring directly at her neck. Please, Dorothy, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> we have learned that it's dangerous to hug vampires. <laughs> <already>. <laughs> What's going on over here? Oh. Well, hey, I just witnessed a murder. Rotten old crusty. Each heart contains the seeds of life. Drink at this river. Dry it all. 
bit read out, isn't it? Oh, come on, you bastard. I won't bite. So I will. Please. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? We need to heal him so he grows all that blood back. And then we say, What is our medical checkup? He's healthy. He's he fine. Fuck all blood in him, though. Yeah. He's a trash man and he'll never be worth much. Even if he's healthy, he won't be matter. worth much blood. Not exactly the way to get rescued. Right. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain here. I don't know if that means we should or shouldn't hear. Yes. I mean, That's he's being kind of rude. Take my yeah. word, I was. I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. Oh dear. It's a very <laughs> <of> words. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Jonathan, you're being very, uh, very, you know, obvious. Do I have to the dance of life and death? Um, do I have to do a murder on the man? Oh, okay. We can we can right. choose to not. Uh, do we take him to the hospital and then eat him later? Uh, I don't think he's ever going to be worth that much. So if we if we're planning on eating him, we should do it now. Let's just do an eat. <laughs> Let's just do an eat. We hungry. I could use a little bit of XP. In the back, you bastard! Didn't have the guts to fart me. Fuck you. I'll kill you. Oh, kill you. <laughs> Where's hatchet? We got and his hatchet. Dollars. Yeah. Listen, Depending on who you eat, the. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. I was just gonna say he's a bad man. And that's it. <laughs> yeah. To embrace its most elite. <laughs> Depending on who you ate, the, the district you, that they were in will we'll slip closer to madness, uh, to being overrun by monsters and vampires and nonsense. Just bad but, things. Um, yeah. But, I mean, that guy's not going to be worth much to any, anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, he's a tutorial kill. How, how bad can the consequences be? How bad? Uh, 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 no. <laughs> Listen. Right, there's Dorothy waiting to talk to me. Is there anything I can steal? And by steal, I mean just appropriate. I work here now. All of this belongs to me. That's how being hired at a hospital works, right? Anyone who notices me going through the trash is fired. Doctor, <laughs> I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. Ma'am, I wasn't gone I for that long. Nurse. I needed some time to myself. This has been the longest and strangest night of my life. You delivered poor Mr. Hampton from a terrible fate. The means to that end should be of little concern, Doctor. Why is she staring directly at the camera, please? Ma'am. <laughs> Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it Look at him! Yeah. Thank you. Such a no, sharp dresser. Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. Questions. I would like to ask a few questions first. <laughs> And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in, how does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. Poor thing was in quite a state of shock. Do we well, know? Do they know he's a vampire and will get back up and be wibbly and bite you? It's uh, a good question. The doctor, but his doctor boyfriend on this. Him, I, thought you would have known I, I would assume so. 
It's right to assume oh. that Dr. Swansea uh -huh. knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough, and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. Apologies, I've only just met him the once. This is sudden. I've only just returned to England. Dr. Swansea is a brilliant surgeon and the most compassionate physician. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, great. Best Perfect. If you could friend. point me in the direction <laughs> of Second floor of the hospital, left after the stairs. It's the last vacant office at the end of the corridor. Okay. Cool. Great. Thank Perfect. you, Nurse Crane. Thanks. Uh, sir, I will talk to you in a minute. That's the guy who's selling all the hospitals. Uh, stock, right? I think so, yeah. He ends up running off with one of the I'm nurses, I think? I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks, the ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's quite Sir. a blunt introduction. <laughs> you can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand I'm judging. what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. Why you have gun? <laughs> Reasons. Are you really smuggling weapons through the hospital? And why not? I've already been attacked by patients, you know, and by gang members willing to steal my money. But you're not defending yourself. You're selling guns to civilians. You keep people alive your own way, Doctor. I offer them another way to protect their health. Then, then they end up here, the so that I have to work on them. The situation is all right. It's fucking awful. We lack everything, and it's getting worse every uh, day. This fucking guy. It is like a dangerous so what do you do exactly in this situation that everyone's in like for sure it's the sea uh, descending into lawlessness arming civilians is never the that's not so yeah people are scared and panicking and hungry and yeah it's not that's not gonna a good idea um, they're never they're not gonna use it to defend themselves in that situation they will actively use it to harm others well how it even the locals attack they might just, it just like panic and shoot someone. The yeah. What happened? Yesterday I got yeah. By the it's just I was bad. <laughs> also, if they <laughs> do try and defend themselves, and the thing they are defending themselves about is the vampire, which we know are here, and probably been bad just running away. Yeah. It's just gonna make him real mad. Yeah. Oh, I can't ask any personal questions, actually. Goodbye, we don't need to trade right now, so. Bye! <laughs> Good evening, sir. So it is true. The famous Dr. Reed has joined us. I can't Hi, it's any us! I can't better news during these terrible times. Do we know each other? Actually, yes. We met once before at the Rockefeller University in New York. So your name Dr. is Dr. Tippett. 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 Yes, I remember. <laughs> I was with Professor Carell in his research. I think it might be Connery terminally Rifle. British. He, <laughs> he was also very confident about your future. And look at you now. Eminent surgeon and blood transfusion. So surgeon. British. Ugh. Corcoran? Corcoran Tippets? Good grief. It's worse than we thought. <laughs> it's terminal. Hospital situation. And please. Might be the master British. <laughs> I'm sure you are used to working in a better. <laughs> it's more than enough. In any case, the personnel of a hospital are much more important to me than the building. Don't yeah, but well, also, what if your building is falling apart? Sorry. I was just gonna say, I was giving the, the smuggler man the benefit of the doubt and assuming he was telling the truth, but he's 
pretty obviously just a, just a bad guy selling guns because no one's really gonna stop him. Are... Yeah. But during this troubled period, there is yeah. no time for slander. I prefer to focus on the positive character traits. Tell me more about cherished people then. Nurse Branigan is a pearl. She is the most helpful and dedicated nurse mm -hmm. I've ever worked with. A clever and cheerful woman. You really seem to admire her skills. Are you laughing about Branigan? I'll go even further. If she was a man, she No, Branigan! I remember her! She's the one that I hated! Oh, jeez. Any opinion about the management? I don't always agree with Dr. Swansea's reserve. Dorothy is stern and a bit of a stick in the mud, but like, I think she's like the lead nurse here, and so it makes sense. She's stressed. There's lots going on. She does care about the patients. I think Branigan is just like super Jesus-y and horrible and like, is also jealous of like one of the young nurses. I remember her just being miserable. Goodbye, Dr. Dr. Tippett's, why her? Where is she? Is that her? Good evening, nurse. I'm Dr. Is. Jonathan Reed. Where is she looking? <laughs> Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. She's... I'm Nurse Gwyneth Branigan. Welcome She's to actually the asleep. The pupils are just drawn on the glasses. It's a good <laughs> All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. I don't like how she's looking Dr. at me. <laughs> sure of that. No. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised, but I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. How are things here? Not good, to say the least. Not too good. Against an invisible enemy, more lethal than any bullet from a gun. It's hard work. An invisible enemy. It's quite a poetic term for a disease, especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. These last few weeks have been exhausting. We could all do with a good night's sleep. Do you think this hospital can survive the epidemic? We are all volunteers. Sorry, she seems fine right now, but I. Fast, but yeah. How do we beat an invisible killer? Some nurses are all Maybe I'm thinking of somebody else, but I thought it was her. Well, I'm not familiar with all the staff yet. Perhaps you could help me. Brilliant professionals, most of them. Dr. Swansea has a gift for recruiting talent. Most of them. Is there a problem I should know about, nurse? It would be inappropriate for me to speak ill of a colleague. Is there anyone that stands out? Well, I have never met someone as dedicated as Dr. Tippett. He should be a standard for us all here. If only he were younger. Why should his age be a problem? I guess it's fair to say he's always pushing himself to the limits. He just doesn't know when to stop and get some rest. Okay. Nurse Branigan, if you do know something, please tell me. Anything you say will be held in confidence. No. I may disagree with some conduct, but in the end, everybody is doing their best. Then why do you mention it? There was a problem! Why does Dr. Tippett's claim you're the main oh. reason he keeps working? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> so aggressive! years ago. Sin is in his like uh, vampire nurse. mind. Suggesting he's not Jedi yeah. Into consideration. <laughs> practice of knowledge. But so. I really hope he doesn't. So aggressive. And okay, there's Goodbye. something else that I can ask. Call me if you need assistance. We mm. want the little hints that they give about each other, because that leads us to like. Better. Blood. Eventually, you can. You unlock more options, and then eventually you unlock revelations about them if you like pick the right dialogue options. Yeah. And Maybe that Dr. makes the blood test nicer. Dr. Reed, Tasty snacks. Uh, 
Unlocked a hint. There it is. You're exhausting yourself, Corcoran. <laughs> you should think about preserving your strength. No, we must keep on healing all those poor souls. We are the last rampart before chaos. Once more, unto the breach. Nurse Brannigan is worried about you, Doctor. Huh. She should not have told you that. I will have a word with her. You don't have to blame her for her honesty. I'm not that kind of man, my dear Jonathan. Actually, Nurse Brannigan's opinion is the only one I may listen to. Okay. Okay. Well, goodbye, cool. Doctor Tippett. Great. Good talk. Thought I saw something on the ground that I could pick up, and I did not. No. <laughs> this place seems perfect to come. Good evening, Miss. Oop. I'm Doctor. Let me just interrupt him. <laughs> just interrupting myself. <laughs> what? <Your name laughs> no meaning to me. Mortal. Right, Thelma. Oh. I love her. I beg your yeah, she's what cool. are you begging for, mortal? My clemency. Well, tonight maybe <laughs> I'm inclined to mercy. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep calling me mortal. Why is that? And if I'm mortal, what are you? Well, Doctor Reed, if you must know, <laughs> I'm a vampire. <gasps> a vampire. And why do you believe you're <laughs> I don't need to believe anything. It is what I am. It is what I feel within this hollow shell of flesh. <laughs> Please, describe to me how you feel. What is it like to be a vampire? I can hear my body crumble from the inside as my flesh cracks and fades. I sense the last pulse of postulant blood within my drying veins. I need new blood. Ma'am, I think you're just having an existential crisis. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Cotta syndrome yourself? Never. It's a mental illness discovered by a French neurologist named Jules Cotta. The affected patients are delusional. They believe that they are putrefying, that they are dead, a, a ghost or a ghoul, or in your case, a vampire. Delusional, you say? Oh, sad and you can't even begin to understand the concept of immortality. <laughs> it is I who am delusional. It's fine. It's fine. I'm assuming you must be a patient here. <laughs> am I right? It's only a cover to hide from my enemies. I can leave whatever I want. As a woman, a, a spirit, fog, or bat. Who are these enemies, <laughs> That was great. I cannot say. Yeah. But I sense their eyes on me. I feel them watching me every time I visit the garden near the morgue. The staff here are not your enemy. They're here to help you, mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. care mm -hmm. for you. I'm not speaking of the doctors in white. I'm speaking of the men and women who hunt me, for I am a vampire. I see. We should probably not yell Don't that. <laughs> just, not you know, just saying. I'll personally make sure they leave you alone. Thank you, mortal. But do not interfere with them, for you are no match for those that hunt me. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. Who are you really, Miss Howcroft? I mean, <laughs> apart from being a vampire. Is that not enough for you, puny mortal? What do you require? Hmm? Proof of my powers? I'm Can you also no shoot blood from your hands? Becoming a vampire. No, such what do you do, Dracula? Strange effects on one's mind. We, Dracula. <laughs> She likes to drink the blood and to smoke the weed. Of the dark. Love to drink to the blood and smoke the weed. Cool. All right, Thelma's great. Love Thelma. Yeah. Well, it's it's gonna be a lot of talking right now. Just catching up with all the patients, finding out who's here. Ruffy, do you have anything new to say? What can I do for you, Doctor? I need to play Space Funeral, like, for YouTube what or something, so I can well, point people to it whenever I say, what do you do, Dracula? Thank you. Yeah! <laughs> and also, I am the Wizard of Scum Village. <laughs> Good evening, sir. Do it. I'm Dr. Reed, 
I believe we're going to be colleagues. Reed? Yes, I've been informed about your arrival. Oh god, I remember Reed's voice. I'm Waverly Aykroyd. Welcome yeah. aboard, I suppose. Does my arrival <laughs> inconvenience you in some way, Dr. Aykroyd? Let us just say that I don't particularly share Dr. Swansea's enthusiasm for hiring you. What we need here are reliable professionals, not overrated dabblers. Huh? Excuse me? If you have a problem with me, Dr. Aykroyd, please feel free to tell me. Dr. Swansea has imposed your presence on this hospital without asking anyone's advice. The benefit of his position. But I don't agree with it. I know well, you've never too fucking bad for you. Yeah, but it doesn't fucking help you and gag, eh? People agree with that, I'm sure. Oh, oh that's I such what I said. <laughs> of course you can't say the same about me, since I have not wasted my time caught in the press. It's so e we were known as like a more of an academic than an actual doctor, right? That's why he's yeah, but like suspicious. But we have just come back from being a, a field medic in the war, like yeah, <laughs> like, like we we've have, obviously yeah, we've more than earned title of doctor between like doing med school and 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 going out and being a field medic. That's not an easy job, <laughs> like. <laughs> Mmm. Kinda just wanna yell at this man. Or he could just be kind of petty and be like, there's no need for such animosity. No. You are going to change your tone with me. <laughs> <laughs> and very quickly. I don't think so. The aggressive but rather than the passive aggressive answer. Yeah. But I am still a free man. I don't have patience for men like this. <laughs> Fuck this guy. <laughs> Perhaps you can tell me more about this place. Let's just say I'm tired of the carelessness around me. I have always respected the skills of Dr. Swansea, but over time, his enthusiasm has become misplaced. Carelessness? Exactly what are you talking about? We're here to save lives. The people who trust us are not volunteering for experimentation. They're here to be healed. I don't intend to run any radical experiments, Doctor. Even if I any good practitioner should express an interest in pushing the boundaries of medical research. Modern medical methods were created through audacity and ego. But there are rules in our line of work, and they're here to protect our patients. Yeah, but... <laughs> oh. I don't know about this, man. I don't know what you've heard about. I proved my value as a practitioner. Yeah. I don't question your skills, Dr. Reed, but your motive. Is it money? Fame? Or are you How are we going to get money off him exactly here? Right? I served in the war just like you. But unlike you, I did not use the wounded to play the modern sorcerer. Be careful what you insinuate, Dr. Ackroyd. I only want you to admit you used those men to improve your theories. <laughs> Sorry, <Yeah>. this. <laughs> there's we're experimenting on what casualties. I don't, think... that's, that's I don't necessarily know that it was. Ex I mean, like, <laughs> that's where he. That's where he developed the blood transfusions, right? Yeah. So it's not like. I don't. I don't know. This is ridiculous. My blood transfusion technique saved many lives, and you know it. You see. That is exactly what I hate about people like you. You avoid this kind of accusation instead of facing reality. It seems you have bad memories of your military. Service. I'm trying to like I think of how I want to like say literally anything that's going on in my brain. <laughs> yeah. Jonathan doesn't strike me as the kind of man that would just willy nilly like experiment in like the the most basic meaning of the word on people without any sort of like idea as to what he was doing yeah and so it's like i don't think he was just suddenly like well let me just shove this blood into this other dude to see if yeah. if, 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 if if it fixes it um I, I don't know how you do like a blood transfusion in like a like assuming you knew like you had you have to put the right Thank salt of blood in time. them or it doesn't work. 
I don't I mean, know that's... how you do it in like a horrible like. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I mean, like, I think it's good to be critical of those kinds of things. I think he's coming on on it at like the wrong way entirely. I think he's yeah. just mad because he wants to be mad. Can I help you? It's my son who needs you, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. How can I help your son? <laughs> I'm Beatrice Goswick, mother of Mortimer Goswick. Could you it's tell hat me, lady. Please, Dr. Reed? I've heard much of your talents as a physician. Um, what can you tell me about yourself, Mrs. Goswick? Not much to say. Just take care of my Mortimer and I'll cover all the expenses. That's all that matters. Are you that rich? <laughs> if you have an occupation, Mrs. Goswick. I'm a teacher by profession. Dang, ma'am, you loaded? I teach young women who are more ambitious about their futures than their families. Well, I don't want to ask I it, really but... Ask most of the patients here are of a more humble origin, if I may say so. Yes, thanks to my husband. May he rest in peace. I can cover any needed medical expenses. Okay. <laughs> what do you think of your reception here? Any complaints? I have had the uttermost reservations about this hospital since we arrived. But we had no other choice, considering the state of emergency. Is there something in particular that's bothering you? Some of the staff were not especially welcoming. I suspect they're not accustomed to dealing with patients of such social standing. Oh no! Tell me more about your arrival in Pembroke Hospital. What gave you people not bad people not respecting the, the rich? Was quite rude for Can you imagine? And that nurse <laughs> seems to have quite a dubious attitude. What do you mean? She managed to secure a bed for my son despite the epidemic. It was a relief, but it wasn't cheap. We haven't talked to Hawkins yet. She charged you for a bed? Yes, and I paid without question, considering the urgency of the situation. I share your concern, Mrs. Goswick. Be sure that I'll talk to the people. Jonathan, the, the, the prompt said I shared your stupor, and I expected I'm you to say that. Behavior would not be tolerated in other hospitals. Okay, well, ma'am, I only just got here. <laughs> it's my first day. <laughs> it is my first hour. <laughs> Listen. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I help at all? No. Really? Why are you here, then? I don't want to talk. My throat hurts too much. I suppose that this pain is the reason you're here. Is someone taking care of you? Sir, yes. what is... Um, oh, uh, God. Please tell me your name, sir. Mortimer. Mortimer why it look like that <laughs> sir why is your neck all horrible yeah that's not good how painful <laughs> is your throat mr goswick so what happened to your throat horrible, doctor. <laughs> i'm sure you realize a doctor and his patient have to communicate sir my guy would it help if i what did you do and a pen not really i see then maybe it's not just your throat that hurts, Mr. Goswick. Perhaps your sore Devo throat is, is just becoming a sprinkler. Something more. Uh, yes, Devo. maybe. But I don't want to talk or even write about it now. <laughs> Why is that How still like that? Is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So we just went through this. It's still white as if we hadn't. Oh, okay. It's because I didn't. I'll let you get some rest. Okay, but I Good do need to keep Mr. talking Goswick. to you, actually, is the thing. Uh... Why did your mother have you hospitalized here? She seems convinced this is a So aggressive. Hospital. My mother just wants the best for me. She won't rest while I'm here. She'd go all the way to hell and back to help me. <laughs> is your mother bothering you? Pembroke Hospital may look... But rest assured, you're in good hands here. It's not me you have to convince, Dr. Reed. It's my mother. Is your mother Can we, bothered? like, <laughs> listen. Doctor, I, I want to take these bandages off and figure out what the fuck is wrong with him. Yeah. You have no idea what my mother is capable of. Sir, what do you got? to my bed if you asked her to leave. Can we, does Dr. Boyfriend know what's going on there? <laughs> 
Doctor Tell Boyfriend, me. what's happening to this boy? Like, just the way that he's talking about stuff, it just make he just sounds like a sad boy. And like, he just doesn't want to talk and be left alone. It's like, I can respect that, but also your neck just looks like... Yeah, it's gone purple. It's not good. And that's... That you're... That is... It's not good. That's what I got to say about that. Hey, I diagnose you with not good. <laughs> Can't just chop off the pair that's gone a funny color because it's his neck. I see. Yeah. <laughs> Would you mind telling me more about your situation? I'm Harvey Fiddick. All I want is to get me bloody arm fixed properly. Oh, I vaguely remember this guy. I think two of the doctors are, like, arguing about what treatment to do for him. And one of the guys wants to, like, do a more, like, experimental treatment while the other is just like, oh, cut it off or something. <laughs> Are you satisfied with your tried and true? Well, <laughs> just the amputated. I've chosen a bad time to be injured. Cut off the pad that's gone problems, a funny color. But you yeah. seem to be overwhelmed by cases of the flu. I won't lie to you about it. I'm afraid we are. Are you sure you don't want to operate yourself, Dr. Reed? I have the feeling you're very capable. And your colleagues seem to think so too. In other circumstances, you would be right. But for now, I don't think I can take on the responsibility. My apologies. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Fiddick. Tell me about your arm. The guy waiting to get his arm fixed. Doctor He's got kids, work. doesn't he? Came from a family. I was more curious about yeah. what you were doing before being hospitalized. I'm a car. I think he's like and a good one too. But that means I need both arms to feed my family, Doctor Reed. Right. Tell me about the doctors who are arguing about your case. Strickland and Aykroyd. They both want the best for me, but there's a lot of pride there. Doctors are no different from carpenters, you see. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Sorry, oh, the whales in the background are very <laughs> funny sometimes. Differences are disappeared about more than Not flesh and bone. <laughs> and we can't get any more information Goodbye there. Okay. Me, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. I will not let you down, my Can I run to a loop really quick if that's okay? <gasps> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> do the right thing. Back. Good. This actually gives me a chance to like look over some of this stuff. I don't think I have to like. I think I just have to like look at everything for it to count as us having read it and then potentially getting hints from everything. Um, if at some point we're interested in reading those. We can. Mortimer's got the fatigue. This is a bit of an issue. Health status of the district is fine. We have lots of people to meet over at the Meet's docks. Nice. They're a company of professional vampire hunters. Gonna. This Good evening, is Mr. Fiddick. Good evening, fine. Dr. Reed. Any news about my operation? No, but I did learn about your family. So tell me about your family. You seem about the safety of your Jesus family. Christ. And it's obviously the reason why your wound I'm troubles back. you so much. Welcome back. I read, I read I read a letter and I found out about his kids. Mother, if I may ask. Oh. She died in 1915 during one of the first Zeppelin raids. We never found her body. Aww. Tell me more about the death of your wife, Harvey. 1915. <laughs> Harry Blunt. Building works. Royal it will never not be funny to me. <laughs> the Germans sent will always be hilarious. Site, but they missed their target. My wife was bringing my dinner when the bombs fell. Aww. I'm sorry for your loss. So many died during the bombing. I served in France and witnessed the carnage there. I would like to say that she didn't suffer. Truth is, I have no idea. I just know that I'm all that me kids have. Poor little bleeders. To be fair, if they didn't find the body, she probably didn't suffer. 
How are your children? Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> smaller, Just immediately exploded. Malin didn't bring them with her that night. Uh, sorry, bud. <laughs> I'll see you later. Sucks, dude. Um, where is Ackroyd? He go. It's like, oh. <laughs> Who are you? Good evening, Doctor. I believe we're going to be working together. Doctor. It's a little nerdman. Doctor Swansea informed us of your arrival, but I could not dare to believe we'd have such good fortune. Such an honor, sir. He is Thank one of the guys you. that I needed to talk to you about. I am Thoreau Strickland. Finnick? Thoreau Finnick? Strickland. I don't remember I'm what his name was. Admirer of your work, oh, very Lee. silly names. <laughs> <laughs> Please, could you tell me something about yourself? I'm a great admirer of your work concerning Maybe blood well. transfusion, Dr. Reed. I run my own experiments. I'm convinced it's the future. Uh oh. What made you choose to be a doctor? I'm He's so to admit you and wiggly. Your work have inspired me. I am honored to have the opportunity to work by your side. Please stay away from me. Uh. It's always a pleasure to share scientific and medical knowledge with someone eager to learn. I'll be glad to help you if I can. This epidemic may be the century's most terrible disaster, but I'm convinced that we, as doctors, are the only ones able to defeat it. I based my technique on my mental Who's gonna tell him that people don't he listen to doctors to anymore? <laughs> not talk about it. For now, it's just theories and first approach. My process is purely experimental and unsuccessful. As long as you're cautious and methodical, you may remain empty-handed, but you won't fail. You're not the first one to warn me, but I am convinced knowledge is the main weapon against the ravages of this epidemic. I, if I remember properly, I think we went with Ackroyd last time, and the man did get his arm amputated. What can which you tell me? Did sort of ruin everything for him. But I'm scared that this is is one of those situations where it's a a bad outcome and a worse outcome. Yeah. You seem quite optimistic. It's a rare and precious attitude in these difficult times. But I also don't I think we like this fully. Is a test, a test we like got all of the information from everyone, so I wonder if we can make about a more informed choice this time. True, true. Uh -huh. Last summer, during the first wave of the epidemic, I used to joke with Milton about the extra work. We're not smiling now. Do you need help with anything in particular? Well, yes, maybe. I'm waiting for a batch of products I ordered for my personal research, yet my supplier seems to have vanished. Do you want me to play the errand boy for you? Oh, no, Dr. Reed. But if you went personally to his shop, what with your reputation and all, he wouldn't dare to refuse the products I need. I see. Don't <laughs> give me the address, for I may pass by. You want me to run your errands? No. <laughs> But yes. <laughs> <laughs> I never suggest such a what thing. Do you think but uh, actually, I mean, <laughs> you're in the area. It's JK, unless. Just <laughs> once taught me that science is about exploring uncharted territory. I'm convinced that's true. Uh... Influenza and all that's going on. <laughs> you put your differences aside, Sorry. don't you think? Why is it so difficult to work together? I believe that if Dr. Ackroyd had been the one to discover the transfusion process, he would be the first to recommend its use. So you believe it's just a question of jealousy and pride? Dr. Ackroyd is as proud as he is blinded by his obsolete concept of medical science. I mean, I don't fully disagree. Yeah, Tell that's... Tell me more about your willingness to experiment with new medical techniques. But it's just, Harvey it's just real jealous. Suffering from a severe injury that could cripple him if not treated correctly. I'm convinced your blood transfusion technique could help him. What is it you really want? To save him? Or to prove your point? Fair question. I want nothing but to save my patient, Dr. Reed. Especially since I know Mr. Fiddick's story. 
tell me I mean, Mr. you must remain neutral, but Mr. also tell me that story. Compromised because Mr. Fiddick lied to us about the real origin of his injury. He first claimed it was an accident. But why would he hide such crucial information from us? Because he is a proud father, ashamed of putting his children at risk because of his own negligence. Okay, but what is that? Oh, he's got full blood. Full blood. I can't kill this man, though. He has babies. <laughs> Look, if if mom was in, in the picture, let's get rid of dad. It's fine. Kids got someone, but they wouldn't have anybody. Yeah. That's what, probably what? why we went with the to cut his arm off strategy last time. Yeah. Yeah. This personal involvement could also appear to be a lack of impartiality. You must know that a good surgeon must remain neutral. I agree. But that does not excuse Dr. Ackroyd's behavior, a man who did not even take time to converse with his patient. Do you think keeping his distance was a mistake? All I know is that I'm taking care of human beings with desires, hopes, and fears. Not some biological machine comprised of blood, bones, and flesh. I mean, it's a little bit of A and a little bit of B. Here's the thing. Uh, <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> listen, it is important to listen to your patients and get their feedback on things. They I'm know their body best. Now, However, <laughs> it is also... A, a functional machine that generally responds in specific manners. Strickland is playing with his patients' lives for pride and glory. Now that, sir, is unethical. Are you thinking about something in particular? Harvey Fiddick needs delicate surgery. I believe we should stick to the usual procedure. But my young colleague obviously disagrees. Um... Why do you wish to leave this surgery? I strongly believe that Mr. Fiddick should not be butchered to test an unproven procedure. If you are going to leave this surgery, I'm trusting you to assume the consequences of your actions, whatever the result. I'm not the kind of man who runs away from his responsibilities, Dr. Reed. There is no need for you to be looking over my shoulder. And are you not afraid that your rivalry with Strickland may be blinding you? Rivalry? I guess you could call it that. But I will never be childish enough to let my personal feelings affect my judgment. He says, letting his personal feelings affect his judgment. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for your time. If it were just that there was beef between him and Strickland... I'd be like, okay, well, maybe he is. Maybe, maybe it's not just that. But the fact that he also has beef with me. Yeah, he's probably mad at you because he hates the other doctor so Good much. Evening, and you invented the technique he keeps Unless talking about. What in the try? No, yeah. That's probably you can help me. why he hates you so much. <laughs> he's just mad. Just right, doctor. It makes sense to want to stick to stuff you know work when there's like a disaster going on. But they still call and, me and stick to, stick to stuff that's proven. But this is proven, right? Or at least, yeah. at least I mean, very it... thoroughly tested How by us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's got it has its merits now. There is still more to learn about it, but it has proven its worth. Yeah, but then we don't know the pain, sir. Oh, we don't know how good he is, but the... Yeah. The yeah. <laughs> and he did mention that, like, he's done, like, a lot of tests, but hasn't necessarily, like, had a success yet. Yeah. Like, if we well, could do the surgery... Oh, easy peasy, easy choice. The, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That guy would kill it. But he can't do the surgeon because he's a vampire and seeing all the blood... <laughs> He'd go a little, a little yeah, hungry. We just go into that at some point, right? We can't do doctor stuff anymore because oh, there's a lot of blood in this person. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Under my skin, burning away. Yeah. Who is treating you? Is someone in particular looking up? If you could like look over his nose or something at least to make sure he's not just making it up. 
Stop right? Well, I wonder if, like, the personal errand that he wants us to do will play into that at all. Like, if he has, like, better supplies, maybe it would be more... It's easier not to speak. Yeah. But be assured I'm smiling inside. Oh. I remember this guy and I like him. How close are you to Miss Horcroft? Are you aware that she thinks she is a vampire? To wait for her next nibble is the best reason to stay here. Every time she approaches my bed, she treats me like something tasty. <laughs> a normal person. Aren't you afraid? Oh. She may hurt you if the game goes too far. She's quite harmless, I can assure you. Her head's broken inside, is all. While I'm busted on the outside. But she's still beautiful. Living proof that there's hope for me. Oh. So do you let her Poor fight? guy. You know that's not sanitary. And why Probably shouldn't. Two thousand yeah. blue coin round. Drops of me blood. <laughs> pain. It's real for once. She could decide to bite less willing patients. Then it's another good reason for me to stay here, Doctor. <laughs> you do realize she's mentally disturbed. It's called the Kotar syndrome. She truly believes she's a vampire. In her madness, she never refers to my scars. And frankly, if I could, I'd join her world. It seems much more fun than the real one. Sad. Where were you stationed? I hey, literally Did in you Victorian London. I really like, don't want to talk about everyone all here this is shit. horrifically no, ugly. You, you, I was yeah, <laughs> you don't look I any worse than myself. anyone else. I but I think you got out there. easy, actually. <laughs> then I doubt we fought the <sighs> same war, sir. No offense. Bud, you're Goodbye doing great. We were in a field hospital. We definitely didn't fight the same war. Yeah. <laughs> Good evening. Yeah. Good evening, Doctor. I don't think we've been introduced yet. Oh, her face hasn't rendered in all the way. Hawkins. And I'm Doctor oh. Jonathan. <laughs> Doctor Swansea has recently offered me a position in this hospital. Well, it's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, Doctor. Well, it has been implied that we did have to shoot, like, it's fire serious. a gun in anger during the war, which... Havoc amongst the staff and patients. We are running out you of You wouldn't expect if we were, like, miles behind the lines? Yeah, I mean, like... Field medics aren't necessarily, like, outside of combat. Well, um, we but they're were, definitely like, in not, charge like... of the, the medics, we'd be in the... The, the hospital, the, the field hospital at the back, right? Mm-hmm. It's, it's not... Our job to run out and drag people back in? No, but I also like I don't know the way that they they seem to like characterize Jonathan is he yeah. kind of went above and beyond, and so it wouldn't necessarily surprise me if he was like d telling everyone what to do and then being like, "Well, move out of the way. You're doing it wrong. I'll go get that guy." <laughs> <laughs> you must get hold of Good guy, Jonathan. <laughs> Exhausted. <laughs> no one has any idea when this epidemic. But even that is still vastly different than being on the front line and having to do the fighting. <laughs> any of it's horrible, but yeah. some bits are more horrible than other bits. Yeah. But what if this epidemic was worse? What if in the end nobody was spared? Well, then no one would be spared, and we wouldn't be here to have to worry oh, about well, it, ma'am. Or long enough to see <laughs> that the epidemic is winning. And no matter how qualified you are, don't tell me you'll change that. You're right. Like, why are you here? We're dealing with such right. a terrible disease. <laughs> Just fuck off. <laughs> that doesn't mean we shouldn't try our best. Sorry, Doctor. I don't want to sound bitter. I'm just too okay, tired but you to do. pep talk like Nurse Brannigan. How is the Pembroke <laughs> staff coping with the epidemic? Well, not well. It's like, Making I don't ambulance driver is expect any of them to be, music, like, especially you know, incredibly topic. positive about everything, but, like, also... Grumpy yeah, she sounds like she's given up. Yeah. Milton's not the kind of man who's bothered about a bad... Also, I can see Sean in the background. There he is. Or not. 
That Arkansas. fucking guy. <laughs> Why does Milton decide to adopt us? Oh, I don't know. And we just realized who it was and got real mad. <laughs> Uh, okay. Can't ask her anything because we gotta go talk to Milton again. Um. Here again. You. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Hampton. How do you feel? Dr. Reed, is it? Oh, Sora, I must apologize for my behavior. What do you mean? I was not myself in the factory. Fear and exhaustion made me say awful things to you on the plane. You remained perfectly nice and polite. <laughs> A little delirious, perhaps. But who wouldn't be after enduring an abduction? Thank you, Doctor. That's a relief. Now all I need to do is rest and return to my flock. This fucking guy. How did you end up in William Bishop's death? <laughs> I haven't seen the learning new about his recent behavior. I went to his place and he refused. He's nice enough, him. but I know. Play this, Sorry. Play this Why? game before, <laughs> and there's a Why? thing that happens Why? later. A chance involved. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> fucking Sean! Miss Harcroft, you dared to enter Hated this awful it. place alone. Horrible, You're terrible a hero, man. Mr. Or a fool. I'm just a man trying to help his friend, Doctor Reed. William Bishop was a conflicted soul searching for life. No, he was looking for Do a bite to eat. <laughs> the from the turtle. I met him before I found you in the canning factory. Tom, yes, of course. Always the helping hand, good old Tom. Without men like him, corruption Tom. and despair <laughs> wiped out the East End long ago. Despair? How could it be otherwise? The authorities have left us all to rot in this contagious nightmare. No drugs, no advice, nothing. It's a damn shame. Oh, this sounds all incredibly in familiar. <laughs> Any particularly <laughs> evil figures? Not really. Most men and women are just doing their best. And it's not my habit to speak ill of people I know, so. Uh, what is the tell us about the East End. The, East End docks. the situation has always been tough, with a lot of tension between the gangs and the Dockers Trade Union. The wet boot boys are very nervous since they lost their leader. What a silly gang name! <laughs> Who runs the show with the assistance of her minion, Boots Digby? He hasn't been missing for that long. <laughs> I need to like it's been maybe an hour. <laughs> the gang been Not that we know anything about I know. it. I've had this nickname. Yeah, uh, I I mean <laughs> the sad things of the East End. I think I heard <laughs> someone say they saw him somewhere, him. but uh, you know. Who knows? <laughs> what do you do for a living, Mr. Ah, oh, heck. I can't help but notice the cross around your neck. I manage a night asylum for the poor and homeless of the docks. And I try How come to that the crucifix don't bother us? I mean, he does, but it's... Uh, Maybe it's because he's not wielding it against yeah. us? Not deacon. holding it as... I'm, told, Doctor. I'm just a man yeah. willing to preach the good word. Why didn't you use your cross against William Bishop to repel him somehow? That's a very strange question, Doctor. A cross is no magical token. That's what you were trying to say. Not mine, anyway. Maybe that's it. Maybe there has to be that, like, intent behind it. Okay. And he's just like, oh, you know, it's just, it's just a symbol. <laughs> it's not an all-powerful sort of effigy. <laughs> William drank so much of my blood in his madness. Feel empty. Slash, I will give it. I will give him this much, like for being a a Jesus dude. I'm sure he'll take the he like seems to actually practice what he what he preaches. <laughs> in that it's yeah, a Daniel. we accept anyone and everyone, and we're all we're all children of God. We're all children of God here. But I recognize it's a divine reference. When you hear what you live by the docks. <laughs> Lady is standing in a room with like a raging party going on, being like, We're all children of God here! And then, like, gets a close up of somebody doing a line of coke, going, Kumbaya, my lord! It's very good. <laughs> also, hi, flowers! 
<laughs> Very good. Um, it's one of my favorites. Goodbye, Mr. Hunt. We'll talk again. <laughs> Fucking Sean! This is why I didn't want to do the murder on him the, the yeah, last time stuff. we came He's like a real good dude, like genuinely just very nice, wants to help think. everyone. Ugh. And yeah, then he's like, yeah. yeah. Like when you meet him after the incident, he's just like feral, right? He's not, it's not like a, a human still. Yeah, there. no, he's just very much like, I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> it's like, yeah. well, well, hey, <laughs> you <laughs> I, I knew that there was the possibility of you going wiggly, but this is a little, uh... This was very, this is a little very much. fast. <laughs> right? Bro, it took like a two-hour nap. <laughs> you good? <laughs> How long did I sleep? <laughs> what year is it? Huh? Um... Okay, and there's stuff, there's so much stuff that we have to do. Uh, yeah, we're the cookie and he's the cookie monster. Yeah. He is for cookie, he's good enough for it's me. Uh, we have to go talk to Milton. Sorry, this whole section is just us talking to people. Um, we could go to sleep. I do ship them. <laughs> oh, um, Milton, where is he? Milton, where are you? Why, Milton? Dunmill. Like eavesdropping. There's Milton. Glad I stopped to eavesdrop. Um. <laughs> Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. I do like that the characters like interact with each other even when we're not like doing do stuff. Like was that because <laughs> we mentioned to him that uh, she was worried Nobody about him? Knows the Potentially. Yeah. This city was sick long before the epidemic, Dr. Reed. I know it's a difficult task, but correct me if I'm wrong. Is this not the job you are paid to do? I've seen babies <gasps> left. Hi, Nan. Thank you for the hydrate. Underage yeah. girls and boys sold to all manner of perverts. Thanks, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Yeah, exactly. I need to get more water. We lack words. Streams are going good. Excuse me if I don't look on the bright side of life. I feel like we've both been pretty, like, quiet. But there's been a lot of talking going on. Goodbye. We have to listen. I like talking. <laughs> yeah, no, I really, like, I really do enjoy, like, the dialogue in this game. And some, I, like, I kind of want to skip through some of this now, but that's because we've been here, like, we've done some of this before, but it is nice to, like, get a refresher on everything. Yeah. Um, but the characters are written so well. I like, I like listening to them. Oh, his acting's very good as well, actually. Mm hmm I can't yeah. remember if there were some really dodgy ones and I still can't, to be honest. But it's not I think there might have been, been I think good. there might have been like one or two, but like they're so outnumbered yeah. that you can kind of just like ignore it. Um, okay, let me see. He's been embraced. <laughs> We have. I have to click on everyone in order to get information. Well, I guess I can see if I've gotten their hints. Who's this? Who is this man? Looks like a doctor. These two. Um. No, I mean, like, I don't. Honestly, I don't think that there's an issue talking over dialogue. Like, yeah. I, I usually do it. <laughs> but, like, in this game in particular, it is so, like, narrative-driven. Um, and it is very important to just kind of, like, hear what everyone has to say. Are you? You're Tippets. Good evening, Dr. Tippets. 
Yeah, your tippets. I don't need Don't to talk to you anymore. Good Please, good I'm trying to. I'm trying to leave. <laughs> um, Hello, Doctor Tippets. Goodbye, mm -hmm. Doctor Tippets. <laughs> uh, I'm. Tr I've got like twenty thousand things going on in my brain right now. <laughs> Disco Elysium is so good. I am still working yeah. on getting that. Uh, horse man in. Worst man in Revish all run going. If they were to find somebody. We're working on that charity stream, I promise. It's hard to talk over the dialogue in Disco Elysium just because it's so good. So good. Um, We are a little over the two hour mark. Do we want to keep going or do we want to pause? Uh, I'm happy to keep going if you are. I will okay. quickly get it fill my water yeah i need to refill my water and use the restroom i'm down to play a little more i only ask because like we can only save i think like there are auto saves but i'm always very bad at paying attention to when those happen yeah <laughs> and then when we when we can actually manually save is when we sleep and so that ends a day <laughs> <laughs> um so i am fine with playing a little more well, i just wanted to double check to keep going i am yeah, okay, let's do a little more, but let's take a very, very quick break. Um, so we'll all, all be right back, friends. Uh, so, Flowers, did you do Disco Elysium? You tell us about your, your run. Yeah, you gotta tell <laughs> us all about Disco Elysium. what happened. Disco Elysium is so good. What happened? What happened? Um, tell us what happened, but we're gonna go take a quick break. Now's a good time to refill your water and grab a snack and use the restroom and do a stretch and all those good self-care things. Um, but we'll be, we'll be right back, y'all. You haven't played it yet. play Disco Elysium is very good. It's like genuinely one of the best gifts. <laughs> you are still cool, love flowers. Hey, it's me, the 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 person who doesn't like uh any game that was made in like the last ten years. Uh Disco Elysium is one of the best games ever made. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> How much do you know about Disco Elysium? Oh, stretch. Well, we did just both get up, so we kind of did a bit of a stretch anyway. <sighs> Thanks, Sonny. Yeah, the original creators got absolutely shafted from what I hear. <laughs> Disco, so Disco if there's Elysium. ever a Disco Elysium 2, it's not going to be the same thing as Disco Elysium. If there's a Disco Elysium 2, no, there's not. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm also doing a stretch, even though I just walked around. Uh, Disco Elysium is, like, easily in my, like, top ten video games. Uh, I absolutely adore, but is genuinely, like, one of the best video games to have come out, um, over the last, like, what, ten years or so? Longer, probably. <laughs> I can't remember. It's so good. It's so good. Um, yeah, only, <laughs> there's only one to the two-ology. <laughs> <laughs> um no disco elysium is so good uh i'm hoping i'm planning for either like july or august for our uh charity stream i was i was gonna start like making official plans for that so i could do the official oh. announcement this is a soft Have announcement a, a charity or yeah, I think, honestly, I'm probably Fine. just going to do the Trevor Project. Because <laughs> they're good, and 
very LGBTQ friendly and yeah. do have like mental health services as well. Um, I, I tried and I have looked over the last like year and a half that I've been talking about doing this charity stream to find one that is for like specifically for addiction and uh, mental health support, but all of them are just so Jesus-y and I'm not about that. If that works for you in regards to like, you know, managing well, addiction, great, but yeah, we, not... we uh, uh, LGBTQ people, yeah. we, cannot, I can't, we cannot move in the I same circles. Cannot in good conscience uh, work with that. So we'll just do a, we'll just do a, a queer centric uh, charity for that. So yeah, it's uh, I've got like three that I'm looking at, but it probably will end up being the Trevor Project. Um, just want to make sure all the any money we make don't go yeah. to <laughs> doesn't people go to bad who things. just want to eradicate us. You know, <laughs> it's just one of those little things. <laughs> just gay things. It's fine. You know. Same, really. Are you, are you doing like uh, rotating guests on that? I mean, I might if uh, cool. if people are wanting to. I mean, I'd be. I mean, <laughs> you can include yourself I'll in this. It's jump fine. In, but perfect um but yeah i want to do it was so uh i'm sure I, I i'm sure anyone who knows about disco elysium if you even if you've not played it knows that it is very uh content warning heavy um just given like you know harry is a fucking mess <laughs> to put it as lightly as possible um, but I want to do a run where we do every horrible option, every bad dialogue option, doing every drug and booze that we come across, um, and just being, like, the, a massive piece of shit. And I thought it would be a very good uh, way to offset all of that horrible by donating to a to a charity. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's so good. It's, Honestly, listen... Oh, it doesn't don't, matter. <laughs> you don't need to worry about that. It's the game is about it's about interacting with the world, not like successfully interacting with the world. It's about interacting uh, is talking successful. Talking to everyone you can. It's about mm -hmm. attempting everything you can. <laughs> and it's just about existing in that world. Mm -hmm. And and really, it's like. It's like a, a personality it's test, but it's 20 away. hours long. <laughs> <laughs> if you have gone into it and successfully played the way that you want to, as yeah. in you get to just be the character that you want to be, you've done you've done fine. You have you have beaten Disco Elysium. <laughs> yeah, I mean if if you want to go into it and not interact with anything and and you do that, then you successfully won. <laughs> there is an achievement in Disco Elysium for finishing mm. the game without ever getting the body out of the tree. <laughs> <laughs> I love that so much. Ooh, my stamina is gone. I didn't necessarily want to do combat right now. I still wanted to do some talking. We gotta go talk to Edgar is the thing. But then I was like, hey, but what if I came down here and like, beat up some dudes um because i got distracted talking about disco elysium which is great and fine we love disco elysium here sir there's surprisingly little detective work at disco elysium <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> and, and when you have to do it um ari frequently just does it on his own and it's like holy shit why is my brain like this why, yeah. why can't I t look at these imprints in the dirt and tell that there's seven distinct <laughs> pairs of footprints <laughs> it is so good I um, almost died from turning on the light how am I doing this <laughs> it's perfect and wonderful you should absolutely play it it's one of those that my first playthrough was on stream. Yeah, don't um, let anyone be doing spoilers around you when you're yeah. you doing it, though. You don't was... need, like, hints or nothing. You, it's, mm -mm. it's fine. It you is just... purely your own thing. It's one that I yeah. would probably suggest doing on your own time, and then if you do, like, a yeah. second playthrough, probably do it on stream. Um, I am lucky enough that, like, 
my community as a whole at that time was very good at making sure that nobody was like sharing spoilers and most at least like most of my mods at that point had played it and like were very good at keeping an eye out and also not backseating it's it's definitely a game that you want to experience um fully on your own in that like your choices are yours and not being influenced by other people and then you want to talk about it afterwards with everyone who's played through it before yeah <laughs> But highly recommend. Would highly recommend playing it. It's so good. It's so good. Saying, uh, you know, be wary about doing it on stream days where we met. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, you'll meet real neat people if you stream it, but just know that, like, if you're going to do it that way. Yeah. Get, oh. get mods in there and warn them. Yeah, um, and make sure that, like, they are on top of their shit as far as making sure that nobody is spoiling stuff. I think as a whole, the, like, Disco Elysium community is pretty good about not yeah. spoiling stuff, but like, there's always, it's, there's always yeah, someone. Yeah, in general, you can't mm -hmm. trust to not. <laughs> and it's, like, you don't want, like... Oh, if you'd succeeded at that thing, here's what had happened. Spoiled, even. You don't, you don't want anything. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, in my run, uh, I got I got this extra piece of information for having a high set. That's all info you want after your playthrough. Once yeah. you have finished. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. This I must be the place. would this highly recommend. Be away from prying eyes. Relegated you do to have to shadow. tell us everything that happened when she finished this Elysium. At least I'm not <laughs> sleeping in a coffin. It's so good. Hey, we kind of like Disco Elysium around here. Okay, where we need to analyze Will William Bishop's blood, and we need to find the wallet in the garden. We could do. There's a workbench right here, right? Yeah. Right, so the wrong kind of workbench. No, I think it's the I think it's the right one. I've already I've already read that. <laughs> Perfect. Analyze. Cool. We have regeneration serum. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah. We don't have ferrous tartrate or sodium hypochlorite. Not chloride. Very different. <laughs> Not to be confused. <gasps> Blaze Hatchet is real good. It does use up a lot of stamina, though. Uh, can we upgrade that? Eventually. Mm. Yeah, we can decrease the stamina That's consumption. A lot of damage. That's damage. tricky. Yeah... And that's his default damage without any upgrades. Yeah. Plus the the attack speed is like either slightly faster or slightly slow. I think slightly slower. Yeah. I'm still on lower number means slower attacks. But the but the higher the stamina, the more it consumes. Okay. Lower. Can lower. We find an attack speed upgrade on any weapon and see if it goes down or up. <laughs> Please don't tell me there's no attack speed upgrades on any weapon. That's, that's not what I want to hear right be. now. Oh, does the machete only got a level 2? It looks like, yeah. I mean, it oh. makes sense. It's a starting weapon. Yeah. I, I don't think there's attack speed upgrades. <laughs> this is horrible. Yeah, okay. Well, you know what? That's fine. I want to equip this. How do I equip you? I kind of like the idea of the bonsai that, uh... Right? Punches the blood out of people. <laughs> uh, can we not upgrade them in this menu because this is the workbench? Or... No, I can't. I just don't have the parts okay. to upgrade it. I'm missing common handle. Right. Um... I upgrade you at the moment? No, because I need more handle parts. Understood. 
this all gets recycled. I forget that the this menu is just purely recyclable stuff. I didn't realize that was a thing that existed. I think that's because I would use, like, at least previously, I would come in here and just recycle everything very quickly and then leave. Because <laughs> I couldn't be bothered. Um, uh, I do we do this now? No. Okay. Well, that's fine. Blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. Yeah. The sun um. is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. <laughs> it does happen I have with so the time. Play the games you want to play. And then when you get bored of the game, play whatever other game you want to play. Keep wanting to clean up the town hall a bit more with Clown, but I'm like, <laughs> I'd, have to, I'd have to stream it now. <laughs> I can't just play Clown. I mean, you can, though. Record it in your spare time. It's, so you have the footage for clown videos. Possibly, but... <laughs> Still didn't save the NPCs. You gotta save them. Gotta save them. Did you build your sledgehammer? Flowers were uh, stealing, trying to steal an anvil. <laughs> to start <laughs> forging a hammer that could destroy the, the Migo cages. So... Ooh. Mr. Hooks and Nurse Hawkins are an item. Migos Those two scare have me. Hidden their affections well. Yeah. Kind of scary. It's Shotgun right. shells. Any of the Lovecraft stories with Migos in them? Mm mm. I should do. Mm hmm. <laughs> yes, please. I've been meaning to, <laughs> I've oh, been mean, meaning to ask if you were going to do, or just at, at any point, <laughs> anytime. But also I have been meaning to ask you to do a reading stream. I like them. They're nice. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Bunny was made for the mansion life. Bunny <laughs> would destroy a mansion. Bunny is, is powerful now. Love bunny oh, here. Watch out, there's a guy wibbling around with a crossbow. I bunny has a has a rifle, it's fine. <laughs> Get him, bunny. My gun is made from metal and your gun is made from wood, you fool. <laughs> okay. We have Milton's wallet. Good evening, Milt. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. Always. Oh, Can I not? Oh, I'm an idiot. It I says right there. Sorry. What? The usually the that. green. <laughs> it was too obvious. <laughs> the green is usually like, I want to trade well, with yeah. you. You're like, let me buy your stuff, right, so which is why I ignored it. Is it That's where the option powder. normally is as well. To yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please take this money anyway. To remind you, mouth shut. Not everybody's as broad-minded as you, Doctor Reed. Uh, can I ask What's questions about it? Between you and Nurse no, Hawkins. Jonathan, we know. Tired. tired of all this shit. Tired of all those corpses piling up. She's as depressed as I am. During the war, I witnessed a few couples just like you come together in difficult circumstances. It can be very damaging. Maybe you're right. But we support each other. And that's all that matters. Good for them. You do realize you could both get fired. Hospital staff are not meant to have intimate relationships with one another. Come on, Dr. Reed. Do you know how many rules are broken in this hospital every day just to keep it running? There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. Mm. Not really, but you are bad. <laughs> right. <So. laughs> It's less a judgment on, on y'all's relationship and more just a judgment on you personally. <laughs> As a man yeah. who is selling guns to the masses. He's both like a horrible influence on all of the people around him. Yeah. And an active arms dealer. Yeah. Can I... Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Can I be of any help? 
anything else I can ask? No, not really. Okay. Where is Nurse Hawkins? Lady? Why I gotta, Hawkins? Gotta ask her about her relationship. I have to find the nurses because they are dashing around all day. Constantly. <laughs> it makes sense. I understand. Are you? There you are. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Hey, so... Oh. There we go. Papa, I know you're very close to Milton Hooks. Yes. Milton Hooks is my man. If you want to report me for that, just feel free, Doctor. I have no intention of reporting you, Nurse Hawkins. But are you aware of the risks? The rules say I won't be allowed to work as a nurse anymore. Stop looking at the camera. <laughs> Please stop looking at the camera. I do I... remember when this died doing that. I do remember that being a recurring theme. Horrible, and I don't like it. Camera. Don't look at me. I am the player. <laughs> you can't break the fourth wall like this. I hate it. <laughs> doing it right now. Ah! Horrible. Okay. Um... <laughs> Jim from the office there. Okay, we can't talk to her boyfriend right now. But Edgar, but Edgar, I miss you. I'm gonna pull a Farley and just start crying outside the door. Wow. Do it. Wow. Wow. Horrible, sad cat man. It'll either work or he'll think we're very ill, and then that's also his problem. <laughs> <the doctor>. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. You have to let me in, Edgar. The flower's dying. It needs water. Oh, right! I remember, I remember that, that quest. That's when we discovered the cottage cheese. Oh, no. It was specifically trying to figure out where and how to do this quest. How to water plant. How to water plant. Okay, we are gonna do a save because I don't think we can progress and do literally anything else until we do. Um, we should, this would be pretty good. Should probably like get some help or something. If... Yeah. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I didn't want to like no, the no, no. And stuff for the fun thing that you want to get, but the 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 health is the responsible thing that you're gonna need at some point. No, absolutely, and it's definitely something that I wanted. I also just wanted to make sure that we did have an extra move aside just from our blood spear. <laughs> Should we get big thirst? Get more blood when we do a bite in combat? Yeah, I think that's a I think that's a good idea. Gotta get blood. Then, gotta get blood. Especially with how dumb they are and how easy it is to sneak up behind them. Right? <laughs> Hard biting would probably be good as well because it does more damage. Yeah, a bite does no damage right now. Um, no. <laughs> I don't know what any of that well, is. Coagulation is so... how it, it, it's, it just uses blood to heal, right? No. Absolutely not. Okay, it's... cool. <laughs> I think it's... I was a move for that, but... Fast regeneration? Increase your life regeneration when you're using bite in combat? Yeah. I thought, yeah. I thought there was one way we could just use up the blood bath, huh? I, I might just oh. completely be misremembering. Uh... It's fine. I'm just crazy. We know now. Blood cauldron sounds obscene. I don't even know what the, the what is the description here. <laughs> you boil their blood, so their blood explodes. That's pretty great. I just like the the idea of blood cauldron. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe you are just crazy. Yeah. You want, no, Seems I don't like want to cancel. I want to confirm. Fall night. I understand. Who? Okay, nobody else is sick. It's just 
Mortimer, who has the fatigue. And... Dyson, who also has the fatigue. But Sean is back there now? Dorothy. Right. She's... Is this Whitechapel? I'm not sure. I don't remember. Well, it's bad there, wherever it is. Yeah, it's not good. Oh, the, the way it works. The more experienced people are worth, the more important they probably are to the district. If you <laughs> take out the pillar of the community, that's it. It's over. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the, the whole thing just goes straight to hostile, and hostile means you can't. Like, everyone who's, who's left there either dies or leaves and doesn't leave to a place you can go. They're just gone forever. Yo. And uh, everything's just full of enemies at all times. It's just bad there. You want to keep things at stable or higher. I'd better learn to hide my true name. <laughs> Jonathan, you can't just start talking about other people as the mortals. <laughs> oh, hey, Dorothy, you cool? You good? Yes, Nurse Crane. How can I help you? Lady downstairs so is always sorry. talking about the mortals. Yeah, but we have she also has a Co Cotard syndrome Our or whatever. Antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but. <laughs> No antiseptics at all. Um, there is nothing Sorry. here. There's nothing here. Some of the patients won't last the night without them. Honestly, sir, I'm beside myself. I may have a solution. In France during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However, do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemicals <laughs> grimace, can be though. used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? By chance. This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? Morgue. It's the large building behind the morgue. hospital. Morgue. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of the again. Street. We move over here. The abandoned morgue. <laughs> a small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. Does she know we're a vampire? Cause like, otherwise, wouldn't you say, "Hey, you can't go in there. It's it, it's full of plague." <laughs> I don't think she you'll get, knows. You you'll get the plague, normal human. If you go in there, you can't go in there. <laughs> well, we're going in there. Listen, we're just very dedicate, dedicated, <laughs> dedicated it's to nice. uh, making sure that everyone gets gets healed, even at the expense of our own selves. Here, no, no. Don't think spooky enough to be a mark. <laughs> I think that just describes all of the hospital. <laughs> yeah. I can't stress enough that as somebody who worked in morgues regularly, um, most of them, not scary at all. Incredibly well lit. It's a lot of the other hospital that's horrifying. <laughs> um, the, the morgue at our local hospital which I had to go to a lot, is so nice. <laughs> In fact, they don't even call it a morgue. They call it the D uh, DCC, um, Decedent Care Center. <laughs> oh, <laughs> because there's... that sounds nice. So well. It's so, right? <laughs> it's a lot more approachable. Um, but, like, everything, like, all of the rooms are just, like, they have, like, glass walls so you can, like, see into them, but it's all, like, incredibly well lit and so clean and just, like, it looks like any other part of the hospital until you come across the freezer, in which case you're like, oh, oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> what is DCC? 
Can we stand for again? I, I, <laughs> I understand now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to leave. I thought I didn't. Probably I don't know what I thought. Now, at least. Yeah, I was hoping. Um, well, no, it was really cool. I also just really like working in morgues because there's no one really down there <laughs> ever. Uh, so it's quiet and nice. <laughs> The only people you have to deal with on a regular basis is the quiet. Yeah. There's the occasional moan or toot, but you know, that's what you do. <laughs> I'm not gonna hold it against them. What, what are you gonna do? The dead? <laughs> do all the dang well, please. Right? Let it loose, my dudes. Okay. Um. Hello? I want to do. I want to get that man's supplies for him. Uh, who is it? Strickland. Yeah. Cause I wanna, I wanna know if we can maybe make Carpenter Man's chances of not losing his job a little easier. Give me your blood. Even if we increase the bite damage by 100%, it's still basically nothing. Yeah. It's so yeah. Much from one hit with the machete. <laughs> It'll still be nicer to do at least a little more. It probably upgrades 100% more than once. Hopefully. You'd, you'd certainly hope. Yeah. <laughs> this key. Surely grant me Not that, you know, getting the blood off them isn't nice. It's kind of like, lets you, rather than getting the big damage up front, it gives you the move that you can use whenever you want, right? That's... Yeah. We're mostly, we're mostly doing the bite so that we can do like blood spear and like claws and stuff. Speaking of, I want to see what the claws do. Pretty all right. Granted, the man big had numbers. no health, so yeah. <laughs> It did 154 had... damage, which overkilled him by about 150 it. points. Right? <laughs> we'll take it. It's pretty alright. Um, I think I've already... I have not been in here. Balls of Mars. Fortifiers. <laughs> as popular as they are ineffective. But they do contain iron tartrate, and that might prove itself useful. Dang. <laughs> Call them out, why don't you? <laughs> Did you wiggle? No, you, gl you glowed. <laughs> Glowing is different from wiggling. Okay, cool. I do need to do a bite on someone again. We're hungry. Excuse me? Hmm. I think he wiggled. <laughs> That's a wiggler right there. These scowls feed from Stop corpses and talking. Are you fool. <laughs> You're so loud. It's fine, they're real dumb. Yeah, but they're also so loud. Oh, yeah. Does Sean become like one of the like ghouls rather than yeah. like a vampire? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think to become a vampire, they have to like Drink the blood of a vampire as well as being drained. I think it's like they have to be on like the cusp of death and then and then dink some blood. Uh so whereas... works in what we do in the shadows, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's tell me. I think somebody noticed me, but that's okay, because this guy didn't. And we can get our blood. Oop. Excuse me. No, no blocking. None to block. Hello? Oh, he's ha he's angry. 
Okay. Sucks being a scow. <laughs> <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> Just wanted to break through. Is there anything else around here? No. Hello? Just a dude. Just a guy. <laughs> My goodness. I'm screwing and hollering in here. Right? This Citizen. is the dang party room. Actually, this is also the mock. Yeah. <laughs> A little bit of both. Uh, you can start a new citizen quest by tracking it. Right. Find out who's spying on her. Reach the pharmacy. Okay. Mr. Connor's okay. injuries don't match the report. Press it. Oh, I'd we can absorb this. blood directly from people. Just I scoop the blood out. So yeah. you just got a big drinking straw. <laughs> Love party straws. Multiple abrasions and scarring on the arms and legs. Old Is it one of the ones that has like the little like of a sailor twists fisherman. and turns and loops in it? Traces of a pinkish foam at the corner of the lips. Some sort of drug overdose, perhaps? Perhaps. The chest was originally open to perform the operation. The sutures are clean, but the chest has been reopened. Ooh. A puncture he, over he the dinked too much, too much a chest tube insertion. Not the cleanest work, but I think it was successful. The man is dead. Signs of How successful pain. could it have been? So, Dr. Tippett's anesthetics were incorrectly dosed, causing the patient's death. And then he tried to operate on him again. Tippett has made an egregious oh, error. Oh, no. It's time we talked. Oof. Oh, Tippett's. Oh, Tippett's. It's locked, all right. Tippett's fucked up. Yeah. Hey, buddy. <laughs> you done goofed. Where is the... Where is the... Oh. <laughs> oh, guy. You barely got the hoop. <laughs> Scales will tip it in their favor. Except not because, oh boy, did he fork up. Hi, John Doe! Oh! 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 He's a wiggly boy! No! No! I need to back up! But also, my stamina needs to come back. He's too wiggly! He's very wiggly. Ooh! Mm. It did take off half his stamina, which is one. Yeah. There we go. I just, I need that blood back. <laughs> hey, the, um... The, the, the move you do when the stun, your stamina regenerates during that. Does it?! Yeah, I, oh. I don't think it, um, like, specifically regenerates your stamina, but during just the downtime happens, while you're doing yeah. animation, it comes back. Nice! <laughs> yeah, look at that. Yeah, it Full does. Stamina. Beautiful. Alright, that's pretty pop. rad. Yeah, that we can use this, uh, we can use this in our favor. Um, also, my poor Those man, so I didn't mean to... Use that sure move, but that's okay. Coming stronger. I mean, we did fine. So tempting. We did fine. Yeah. 
and the combat is a lot more smooth on controller. It's still very wiggly, but it is a little significantly better than it is with mouse and keyboard. So hey, that's cool. That's good. Yeah, that does help resolve a lot of issues that we have had. I understand Ooh, that I can. Bunch of analyzables. Yeah. But also, I can make some fatigue stuff. Uh, can't make any more because I don't have any sodium hy hypochlorite. That's okay. Not the chloride. <laughs> non chloride. Alright, can we leave? Can we leave here? Is it leave here time now? Seems like that with the boss. But will I will I have anyone to try and stop me from leaving? Can I go through here? No. Mm. It's just a little guy. <laughs> Let me Perfect. refill my blood, please. <laughs> Thank you! My health is also hurting, though. It's so low. I did get booped a little bit by the, by the teleporting lad. Yeah. Sir, where are you going? Kind of large. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, oh, oh maybe it's me. not. Okay, go away. <laughs> I was trying to be fancy and get more blood, but that was a mistake. We have learned. I cast fuck off. <laughs> That's not how I leave. Game? This is how I leave. Yeah. I we went out by accident earlier. <laughs> we know now. The perfect. All right, game, come on. You can do it. I know you got a lot to load, but you can do it. All right, where? What's in here? Is this the main hospital? It is! Sean. Who's that? Oh, wait. Is that the lady I absolutely hate? Is it locked? It is. Not allowed. You can't have to see the person you hit. That's fine. Also, we have... His cure. Hey, I have a thing evening, for you. How are you? I'm okay. Although I don't think it's going to fix your neck. <laughs> is the thing. Do you need any can help? I? I'm afraid I may, sir. Here is your You're medicine. Not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you Feel better. For that. He's recovering. That means at the end of the day, um, the stability should this. go back up a little bit. But don't yeah. hesitate to Well, it'll go up a little opinion. bit from that. Potentially, someone else will get sick, and we just start spinning those plates. Yeah. Yes, okay. Doctor. Hey, I have your things. 
I think oh, you were, heavens, you always you were pretty on top of it last Don't time, right? The everyone mm. getting like sick and stuff. It's just that hands on deck. the the shancident yeah. sort of and, ruined and you everything. See how that could like spiral out of control. Does you crane, yeah. Yes, crane, but when do you sleep? Um. We yeah, I think as long as like when we, can, we were doing, I was doing pretty good at like looting everything and making sure that I was like healing up everyone as much as I could. I think there were a couple people that like I was having a hard time yeah, healing, but that was just care for what they needed. Yeah, <laughs> but it's it's reasonable, but can very easily get out of hand. London's yeah. trenches start here at Pembroke Hospital. We are on the front line, make no mistake. Dorothy, you should wash your hands. That's not particularly sanitary. <laughs> exactly how bad I don't know if supply situation this has to be it really depends. post Dr. Swansea them realizing that washing your hands is a good thing. Fun yeah, fact, yeah, a midwife good. is the one who was really like, hey, I've done all this research and, and you know, studies show that you should probably wash your hands before you do surgery. Um, but because it was a, Please she was from, me in the because she was a woman again. and was working at a, a, like a midwifery, uh, with a bunch of other ladies and presented this stuff to like a, a big hospital full of guys. They were like, you silly little women, you don't know what you're talking about. And so it took another like 10, 15 years before they finally were like, Hey, like it, it does seem that, <laughs> that like ma maternity rates, um, the rates of women not dying during childbirth are much lower over there with the midwives as opposed to our hospital where, you know, women we die all of the time. Before we try and deliver the child. Honestly, though, Crane, thank you. I wonder why that is. Um, <laughs> it's a fun fact about that. Uh, Rat Hospital? Edgar. I will not let you down, my boy. We are in the in the 1900s, though. We should. We sh we know that right now, right? Yeah, sure. I think I think sure. at this point, um, yeah. I I want to say it was like late 1800s that they like finally were Ooh. like, oh yeah, maybe what like washing our hands is a good thing. Listen, the <laughs> the way or the um, amount of progress we have made as far as like medical stuff. Uh, has come in even just the last 100 years is miraculous and it's not a lot of it's not just because of technology a lot of it's because we started listening to women <laughs> like women have been healers in multiple societies for thousands of years and kind of know what they they're doing but you know they they clearly don't understand what they're what they're talking about <laughs> yeah we're just people with femme bodies in general listen i think i think they know what they're talking about please jonathan <laughs> sorry <laughs> Edgar, what are you doing fascinating is it not he's been it's sitting here this whole time waiting for us to come through to <laughs> just to have this conversation body Biology's penultimate frontier. <laughs> the more we explore its boundaries, the less we're able to trace a clear line between life and death. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking nerd. I you, love this man. My friend, have a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. <laughs> this must be also new to you. This area of town, the hospital, a brand new life. How stimulating it must be. He's doing the thing where he's I kind of staring at us, the player, and I wasn't allowed to move my, my camera. defies scientific categorization. Undead? Unalive? Immortality defies logic. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The world's <laughs> most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. One might Ironic, isn't heaven. it? It's like a thousand, <laughs> ten thousand spoons it when all you need strange, is a knife. But your words have brought me some comfort here. Forgive me. I've been an admirer of your work for a long time, and now you are so much more than a brilliant physician. And please, call me Edgar. Call me Dr. Boyfriend. All right, Dr. There's Boyfriend. No need to apologize, Edgar. 
You offered me sanctuary when I had none. Very well. Also, his stethoscope a is very you silly looking. Something that will require all your newfound skills. Please. Doctor boyfriend actually the opens for heavenly vampires. Unfortunately, our main girl herself in a bit of a bind. Now, if you could help her out, a Dang. or politician is what you need. That's not my calling. And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. Lady Ashbury has recently received rather indelicate correspondence that, if revealed, would jeopardize her position. And you would like me to eradicate this threat? By the stole, of course not. I would just like you to pay her a visit. <laughs> By the stole! Her lady certainly near the tents outside, tending the sick. We can't miss her. Look for someone impossibly delicate. Accepted. I'll see what kind of trouble Lady Ashbury is in. <laughs> just the voice acting in this game is just very good. Oh, wait. I need to read that, actually. No, it's not for the Pembroke administrator, but my, for my old friend. Since our short discussion two days ago concerning the possible prom uh, promotion of the esteemed... Waverly Ackroyd is the new chief surgeon at Pembroke. I have finally concluded that it wouldn't currently be in the best interest of the facility. Don't misunderstand me here. I'm convinced that Ackroyd is a very competent physician. I may even admit that he deserves a promotion, but not now. Not while we all struggle to keep the epidemic at bay. Uh, for now, we need a clear hierarchical organization, and we must avoid the inevitable frustrated egos caused by such a promotion. We need an obeying and dedicated army. If I may even add, this is also a good test of character. Sometimes think Dr. Ackroyd is a little too bit too proud, a little bit too eager to be promoted. To face a refusal may be a good way of finding how he deals with frustration. You wanted my opinion? Well, there you have it. I'd be ready to discuss these points directly with our colleague if he ever wanted me to justify my position on his promotion. Always sincerely, Corcoran Tippett. Oh, Tippett's was saying this about Ackroyd. That doesn't that does kind of lead in favor of, uh, what's his name? Strickland. I'm okay. sure we just want you to, like, tell, uh, Ackroyd that he's not getting the promotion and see how he reacts. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're what? definitely gonna do that as well, but also, just for my own my own judgments on the man. Not that, you know, Tippett's is a great judge of anything. <laughs> yeah, Tippett's... I mean, it's because he's tired, right? Like, that's... Yeah, I think... Good evening, I think that's what it is. Dr. But he needs, he needs a nap. Please nap. Yeah. Right. Have you heard of any underhand dealings going on in this hospital? Why is she doing I that? No with the I don't bit? know. <laughs> I think it's because we're in the middle yeah, of her path. <laughs> Man, please. Goodbye, Here, can we <laughs> just go around? I don't think she knows how. <laughs> okay. Good evening, Doctor. Are we good? Doctor she got any pass. good news to share? <laughs> And she is still walking away. Okay, good. Um. She may be. Kokorin, I want you to tell me about Mr. Connor. Kokorin! What happened? He was my patient. He died because of my mistake. That's the blunt truth. Uh. What was the nature of the mistake? It was a twofold error. My diagnosis was wrong. And the administered dosage was too strong. Who was this patient? I don't know. Some sick man from the docks. You really Maybe don't want him to stop practicing. I no time to talk <laughs> yeah. No we need all the doctors we can get. But we also Why need those doctors to take naps. Are you mad? Yeah. I killed that man, I admit it. And it won't happen again. I have saved so many lives since then. I've gotten everything. Goodbye, okay. Dr. Tippett. Uh, where is Brannigan? What 
does she have to say about this? Ooh, thanks, I can loot. <laughs> it seems very hardworking and generally competent, but like yeah, way but... too exhausted to be doing his job right now. They're working on with like a skeleton crew essentially, and like yeah. it's it understandable. It doesn't make it right, but I also like he does seem upset at his error. Tell me what Dr. <laughs> He's not necessarily trying to write it off and be like, eh, whatever. If He's like, no, this Dr. fucking Dr. sucked. <laughs> would have been fired from this hospital. I could not let that happen. You can't allow your emotions to dictate your conduct concerning patients, Nurse Brannock. Look around you, Dr. Reed. Do you really think we can afford to lose a brilliant practitioner like Dr. Tippett's in our situation? Mm. Like, I understand. I can't uh. say I approve of what you did. Okay, thank you. As a field surgeon, <laughs> I know that some situations require you to bend the rules. I'm not proud of what I've done, but to contain the epidemic must be our priority, so we can't afford to lose Dr. Tippett. All right. Oh, I guess I guess we won't reveal. I decided that I won't reveal Dr. Tippett. Shall we say? I mean, I don't I wouldn't I'm so glad you share my point wanna... of view. Dr. Tippett is a brilliant yeah. practitioner. We most definitely We needed need that to not out. be a right. disaster a going on risk. before we start like thinking about confidence. Yeah. Well <laughs> We'll keep this on file for later. <laughs> Oh, well, here's the thing. I already told him. <laughs> hey, um, so I talked to him already. I feel like getting hit, like, knowing where he stands with the error as well was yeah. as important. So. The flu took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. That he knows man's what I did, hands. But did have to cover it up for no it have been five yeah. years and then there have been three doctors instead of four. Yeah. This man's hands. My god. Why is he mummified? Your words are kind. Granddad's hands. Thank you. You're the She's got good hair, but a trash personality. Good evening, Dr. Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. You seem surprised. Dr. I mean, Swansea has brought ladies me up at this time. Your always, always very concerned with their appearance. She's a vampire. There's a vampire stuff. Ample time. <laughs> Save me that night before vanishing into thin air. Vampires always make sure they look at the best. <laughs> Indeed. Brings us back to point one of vampire. Always, always dramatic. And what better way than to, to be dramatic than to look absolutely well. amazing? In spite of the brevity Very of fancy. Encounter. Very <laughs> fancy creatures. Uh. Well, I'm not glad to see her, and we do know that Doctor Boyfriend likes vampires. It seems we'll just... I'm the butt of a joke, or pigeon of a con. Dr. Swansea might have told me who I was going to meet. I know you're a man of action, Doctor, but take a moment to contemplate the terrain. We love Dr. In Boyfriend war, here. Discretion is both <laughs> weapon and shield. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions, but our rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover if you prefer, has been compromised. Uh... Have any of the patients given you trouble? These poor souls have so I'm not allowed to move the camera, by the way. I do my best to ease their pain. Thoughts, opinions. Ah, uh, I don't believe her at all, but I'm not sure. It's say it, feel the face. Yeah. As long as we all agree, 
Yes. That's some bullshit. Yeah. The world would be a better place if it were cared for by women like you. You make me blush. I am simply a necessary evil. Uh, she's not going to answer any of these, but we'll try. This condition we share. <laughs> Ma'am, you don't have blood. You've got cottage cheese blood. <laughs> that keeps you from blushing. Known fact about cottage cheese blood. I'm a scientist. My trade is in the deciphering of mysteries, and I need information to feed my mind. I will gladly answer every question you have, but first, prove yourself capable of resolving my predicament without eating the culprit. Ugh. Dr. Swansea has commissioned Not me to be your agent nibble. in this matter. Not even a little you nibble. Start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, I've been the victim of extortion. I've made a first payment, but the blackmailer grows greedy. I must have his most recent demands. It's because of things like blood pudding. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> what are your expectations? Please be precise. But that's just what vampires have. Also, thank you for the hydrate now. Hospital, you are in an excellent position to ask blood innocent pudding. questions mm -hmm. and definitely learn God, the identity gross. of my blackmailer. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> Who would be so foolish as to threaten you, a kindred spirit? Even if it were I love blood oranges, though. Listen. A vampire. They're it so good. Something more valuable than money. My suspicions lean toward a patient or their family. If we're dealing with an ordinary criminal, surely you've the means to deal with it yourself, if I may. As immortal tradition doth dictate, all fangs and hypnotic. Eyes yeah, it's like a like a sweeter version of a grapefruit. It's like the perfect blend of like orange with That's with grapefruit. As somebody who doesn't like oranges. Uh, cause I find them to just be too, like, control. I don't know, too sweet. But grapefruits yeah, are also very tart. I love them. point out that her answer to that question was some fucking bullshit? Yes. <laughs> okay, sorry, carry on. <laughs> no, it's fine. Listen, Lady Ashbury, she's full of, full of shit. <laughs> An absolute piece of shit. Who is just peddling shit. I don't, I don't like her. Due to massive I mean, aside from just not trusting her, I just don't like her. I think that's intended. Yeah. And like, just just from the get go, like she's been a vampire longer than us. I'll take care of it. She's probably got vampire you know moves that we don't even know about yet. <laughs> the case, I'd settle the matter myself. Yeah. You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Yes, Nothing why didn't she try and do the investigation her herself? And she said, well, what if everyone now? was murdered by me? That would be life. crazy. That could am. <laughs> is in your hands. <laughs> I, I, I'd, I'd want to I'm avoid sure that. Your discretion. But I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. She's doing that thing where she's looking at me? Me? Specifically me, Keish? Not me, Jonathan? <laughs> in regards of your... Very different people there. I think this is awesome. Sorry. Oh, did it pop up? Yeah. It might happen think... after every conversation. It definitely did after that one. Oh! Well, okay. I was hoping <laughs> that it would just... take me... I was gonna... I yeah, was just load gonna... up and see. Yeah, well, so here's the thing. Usually, when you go to quit a, and a game has these types of features where it auto-saves and or expects you to save constantly yourself, um, it'll be like, oh, are you sure you want to quit? The last save happened at, you know, this many yeah. minutes ago. Uh, or it'll at least take me back to the menu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instead of just closing the whole application. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so I, I just wanted to, like, check that. 1723, that is, like, a minute ago, so. Okay, cool. Um, 
I was hoping to find a good spot to stop here anyway, because I'm getting <laughs> yeah. tired. I'm trying to car Alice. It be, it's, yeah! Ryan's very good in this game. It is very good. Um, so this is actually a very good spot to stop. Um, Just let... It still kind of wants you to do the like really video game, eh? oh you can be a goodie or a baddie, like choices, but the yeah. way it like frames them is a lot more gray. Yeah, <laughs> and I do yeah, like it's... that. Oh, from a, from a role playing point of view, it makes more sense to like alternate between the options. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I do appreciate really that because cool. it is a little better than just being like. I don't know, like, Mass Effect is the obvious, like, yeah. comparison, right? Mass Where Effect... it's like, do you want to be red or blue? Mass Effect <laughs> Just... did, like, ruin uh, video game, like, choices. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Just... Yeah. You basically have one choice right at the start of the game if you want to be red mode or blue mode. And if you... Because you need to make... Like if you if you want to be a, a a blue shepherd, if you want to be paragon, you have to keep making paragon options the whole time, or they get locked off. Yo, <laughs> that's not purple. Purple's not allowed. Then you won't be able to make the the ch high level choices for either thing. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm it's true. Uh, yeah, no. As as much as I love Mass Effect, it did sort of like make these kinds of games have that like that horribly restrictive binary yeah. um which is not necessarily fun when you're trying to like not necessarily go for like a specific route like when i'm playing these kind of games it's like yeah i would like to try and like play like a little more evil or a little more good but like i don't want the options to be like fully presented to me i want to be able to kind of like gauge the option and be like, well, this feels like a better better choice in this case and does give you a little more wiggle room when you are trying to like, like you said, like do like role play a little more where you're trying to get into yeah. into the character and stuff like that. Um Yeah. There is always the like well, in the first two Mass Effects? Or were in the first three? I think you could always pick the middle option if you were a paragon and you you felt like you were being stepped on a little bit or uh, you were a renegade and you thought like this is too rude actually <laughs> uh, but, but then you wouldn't yeah. get the points so then maybe some of the later and options you would get end points. up getting yeah and so like you had to choose no, I do like purely role playing options but they still never reward you the points you need I don't know. yeah <laughs> uh, I do love how uh, as somebody who like exclusive plays Mass Effect as a renegade, except for the one time that we played through. <laughs> um, I do love how, like, obscene some of the renegade options are. Just, like, you, you show up and you kick a man off a roof for no reason! Yeah. That's very good. Just um, really close to the window is why, eh? It's just too close to that window. <laughs> yeah, Fallout 4 is does a lot of similar stuff with that where i don't know like i even felt that with like the walking dead series um the yeah. telltale stuff where like even if it says like one thing like you kind of know what direction it's gonna go in but the intensity of that response uh <laughs> there's no there's no way of knowing <laughs> yeah. um yeah i don't know I, so i i like i like vampire's approach to it it's a lot more i don't know it feels a lot more varied uh it gets you thinking more about things and even if you want to be an evil guy it's still like yeah. to say hey hang off a minute before you eat him because you can make the blood test even better right better. <laughs> talk to them a little bit and they'll taste nicer when you do eat them <laughs> It's Which is uh, a really good way of a, a really clever way of like getting with you, t getting you to engage with it a little bit more than just like I want to be evil this run, right? Yeah, no, so, like, it makes you think about it a bit more. So then maybe you do start role playing a bit more. <laughs> it's a very creative way of resolving that issue. Not that it's like an <laughs> issue really, but no. um, but just like getting people to actually like play your game. <laughs> 
Like, and, we do both and, like Mass Effect. It's just... Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Mass Effect is great! Uh, so but as good. far as the roleplay aspect of it goes, it's it's not it's not the greatest. Uh, no matter what you choose, you're going to be a cop. Um, it just depends on are you going to be a weird pushover cop or a weird explosive cop. <laughs> Take your pick. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like I like this game and. I'm glad that I understand it better now this time. I just wish it hadn't been as devastating a fest it was the first time through. <laughs> um, but we should... Play the first uh, Mass Effect, Flowers. It's, it's, it, just remember to save a lot, and it's it's fine. It's, like, held up fine. Honestly, um, we did do the first few Mass... We did the first two and then, like, half the third one recent, semi-recently. Yeah. We reckon the first one, the ga- gameplay wise, is held up better than the others. the The first one's gameplay is so fucking bizarro yeah, in like it's... a very endearing way. It's not. I can't say it's not hard to play. It is. It has its own little difficulty curve with it. Um, but if you go into it <laughs> no. knowing that. <laughs> knowing that it's gonna be wiggly and weird and just like roll with that you'll have a great time um the second one is better story wise just because it's got the established bit from the first one to kind of work with but it's i really s- engaging is the second one just just building up the, the crew to pull up mm-hmm. the big heist basically yeah and then the third one is uh, it's it's there. It's complicated. <laughs> it's yeah. It's a whole lot, and it's yeah. Yeah. Gameplay um, wise, it's they made some good improvements over the second one. I do always think yeah. everything's a bit more like grim dark in the third one, so it's like less fun to just to, like look at and exist in. Yeah, it's it's a necessary part of the trilogy, unlike you know other things. Um, um, that only have two two things in the trilogy. Um, we don't need to talk about the ending, but when when yeah, I know people generally are just talking about the ending when they get like really mad about it, and it's like game's got problems just throughout, just structurally. Yeah, it's again like I stand by it being like a necessary part of the experience. I do think if you've played the first two, you should play the third one, yeah. but you should know that it is. It's gonna be rough in is every aspect. <laughs> knowing the ending's coming, and it is one yeah. of the worst video game endings of all time. <laughs> yeah. Um, but again, kind of a necessary part to round out the the experience. <laughs> Unfortunately. And he does have some really good bits. It's just also got some really bad bits. It's and really it's... weird, really bad. It's nonsense. Weird to, like... A really dramatic, really impactful, like, climax for a character's arc in, like, every level. It just, you can't, you can't do that. Yeah. Kim, I'm sorry, you you have to stop. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Um, anyway, (laughs) we're just talking about Mass Effect now. (laughs) No, don't apologize. I'm as culpable in that as you are. Um, <laughs> Mass Effect, this is not. Uh, no, I like Vampire. And again, like, I do like the severity of the choices in Vampire, um, and, like, how much it does kind of punish you for it. I just wish that I had had a better understanding of that going into From... it the first time. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it yeah. should have, like, let you <laughs> do something. It should have not like it basically just deleted your save <laughs> like three yeah. quarters of the way through the game. It was kind of upsetting. I was I was really invested in it, even with how like wacky uh the combat had felt at that point. I I wanted to, I had enjoyed what I had done so far. Um and then we made the one choice. Which again, I've like <laughs> gone through this whole spiel before like 
making the decision yeah. where I was like, okay, like we're gonna keep we're gonna keep an eye on this, and the first sign of it going tits up, we're gonna resolve it. Um, and then the game was like, <laughs> jokes. That was your only warning. <laughs> and it's yeah. like the game. It but, hey. Instantly, just killed everyone in the entire area. Yeah. And they were significantly higher leveled than I was, and there wasn't really any other place for me to go to, like, level, because all the other places were also too high leveled. <sighs> but we know that that's a thing now, and I'm more prepared for that, so... <laughs> um, with all the moves, like... With, with controller just being what the game was built for... Yeah. Like, it might be a little less punishing with the combat, but we do have to wait and see, because there are, like, big level hikes kind of yeah. egregiously scattered throughout. They were very rude. <laughs> it's not, like, entirely clear, um, like, what, what level you should be for certain areas, or, like, if there is going to be that level spike, and, like, sometimes you have to go through an area that is far beyond your reach to get to an area that yeah. is more where you are. <laughs> um, yeah. Just but I'm excited to be playing well, this. That, I, that hit where it's like the same guy you just fought who's now not taking damage from your weapon and kills you in like two hits. Right? But it's like, but the guy around the corner over there took like five hits and I, he's just dead. <laughs> exact same nothing. man. Exact same man. Literally the same man. You're identical <laughs> twin brother over there. Oh. Um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to be doing this, and I'm excited to be doing it with you, Fruity. Uh, to be here. I love, I love Cash and Fruity stream dead. Yeah, they're very nice. <laughs> um, does anyone have any recommendations for raid? Because I've got. Thought Slime is on, but Thought Slime doesn't allow raids, which is understandable. Um, mm. and I've got ATM Zero doing uh, Tears of the Kingdom, which, as I have previously stated, I yeah. personally don't have any interest in. But I am more than willing to raid over to, to a friend who is streaming that if, if everyone else is interested in it. I um, don't really have anyone on. Okay. It could just be a day where we don't raid. We're usually very good about that. We can not raid sometimes. <laughs> That's okay. If no one's um, got any suggestions. Yeah. We'll give give Chad a minute to catch up on what we're talking about. Um, but it is sounding like it's just a, a, a no raid day. And you know what? That's okay. Uh, you're bad at raiding. <laughs> That's fine. We'll say, we'll say no to it today. That's all right. Um, the first few times that you're able to raid are always hard just because it is a new thing that you gotta get used to. You gotta get used to dealing with it. We'll you don't try have and remind you if we're if we're floating around. I mean, if I wake up in the really early in the morning, I guess, <laughs> when you finish with your stream. Flowers, <laughs> gonna... I love you, but I'm never there for the end of a stream because you go very, very late. I just it. Yeah. Well it's like there's a there's I think like a two hour difference between flowers and me and then you know like an eight hour difference between you and her <laughs> so it's a bit of a a bit of a a time difference there um but yeah okay. do you remember to read just keep that on the stream <laughs> somewhere <laughs> no that's good like it's cool if that works for you we're here for it um but yeah i guess that's that's it for today we'll be back tomorrow with more vampire. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, all right. Have a have a good time zone, friends. We'll see y'all later. Bye guys.